what would you guys like to do? Kind of a bunch of thoughts and conflictions. She kind of goes inside. Goes up to the statue and she's like, I'm not the praying sort and I'm not about to begin now. Thanks for watching over these people. Our people. Well, you said this one was like a human statue, right? Uh, to be particular... I think it was Elvin, wasn't it? I gotta scroll up here. I just remember it was like a water goddess of some kind. Mm -hmm. Showing a young female human holding a basin. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is the goddess of waterfalls. Um, I'm not about to start beginning to pray, but please, uh, Continue looking after his people. And if you want, I'm already kind of dedicated to someone, but if you want to handle some divine justice, kill this dragon, feel free to do so. I'm uh, open to any help that we can get. Jesus walks away. As you do, you feel a drip of water on your forehead. She looks up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Renford wraps up too. Uh, he's, you know, praying silently. He just gets up from his kneeling position and goes back to join the others. To the night and to... Uh... The mage that had the Therani mm -hmm. cloak that was gifted to her. Mm -hmm. Counting on you two to look after our people. We'll do our best. Count on you to get rid rid of that dragon. Keep us, give us a safe exit. We shall. Um, and don't go through this particular way over here. There's a trap <laughs> over there that we didn't find. Yeah, when you do leave, it's a straight shot going back where we came. Uh, towards there's a pool of water. I would suggest going around it. There's a little alcove to the left where can do so, and that seems I think it's your best chance. Wouldn't it be quicker to swim straight through the center of the water? No. Uh, we don't know what's in there, so I would devise against it. <laughs> they all just get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's hard not to meta that one. <laughs> hmm. Do one of y'all have a healing spell? For my friend Zamakar. Unfortunately, uh, all of our uh, equipment and uh, stuff for for healing has been taken. If by chance oh. you uh, find our equipment, maybe we can uh, cast something. Hmm. I mean, I can still help out with that. You know, I'm in pretty good uh, healing shape over here. You misunderstand, Renford. <laughs> we need what? all the resources we can get. Oh, you mean like healing items? I see. Free shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not our shit. <laughs> <laughs> Their resources, not our resources. <laughs> Out of character <laughs> is what we're saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's um, not like they would give prisoners, you know, that sort of thing. Fair. Yeah, they're well, like wearing wearing the base clothing. But if any of them were clerics or paladins themselves, mm -hmm. <laughs> few words. Um, well, again, hang back for a while, and we go try to take care of this dragon or any other motherfucker that steps in our way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
They warn you that uh, it appears that if you haven't already seen them, that there is uh, dragon cultists. We saw a few. We dealt with a few. We see more. We will deal with more. Yeah. Are we still thinking, as they say this to the party, do we want to try to fool the others, like we were talking about before, or just like fight our way through? I've already said what I said, Renford. I know, there are no possibilities. I have no change of hearts. I was asking everyone. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that was an added character laugh. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to provoke Fletch. <laughs> Meanwhile, random NPC. Hi, I'm the good fairy that will grant you any wish. Arrow through the head. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the as long as they're not wearing cult clothes, it's whatever. I, I have a genie for that. <laughs> we, I was gonna say we literally saved a person on our way here. You know, as long as they're not looking the part of of an enemy, they're they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Thinking to Umbra, um, traps, a lot of them. <laughs> Comes out of stealth. Get the fuck back, Renford. <laughs> <laughs> you, sorry, I thought you were in a hurry. You all begin Weird. to walk to a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> you walk the opposite way. <laughs> I guess that's just water above me. Yeah. Okay. You can always go in the water if you wanted to. You know what? I'm okay. I know I have the water. Oh, uh, you s did we establish what I got from the uh, the blessing thing you're talking about last time? I'm still working on it. Okay, got it. Because if it's water breathing, I'd really be tempted to check that out. <laughs> okay. Uh, boy, do we have to go through the trap? Manfred. What? God damn. <laughs> it's like he's asking for an arrow in his ass. <laughs> you wanna you wanna scout ahead? Is that what you're saying? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> so we're just straight ignoring the pet the uh, the trapped path. Apparently, yeah. All right. <laughs> Just making sure that their pre their uh, perception isn't higher than your than your stealth. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> Since Fletch can see for miles. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't she see around corners? It goes back to uh, Zamrakar. Uh, there's a lot and a lot of soon to be dead dragon cultists. How many? A lot? Like. Can't quite count them all. Uh, Corners and whatnot. Is, uh... So the first thing you notice uh, peeking around the corner is the area is actually brightly lit by torches that are set roughly carved into uh, or set into roughly carved wall sconces. And then you can see uh, because of the light, there is a long, long tables made of split logs that are set uh, for the cultists to sit and eat and entertain themselves. There, you can uh, probably from this distance smell the smell of something being cooked on a fire. Seems to be uh, smoke is rising from it out the uh, central cavern and then out of the caves. Uh, 
Um, so there I was... still have a bomb. <laughs> you do. So mm -hmm. it's flashbacks. I think we have a few. Um... <laughs> Don't worry. Downside... This time I won't throw it when everybody's looking at the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Downside is I don't know if they have any cactus around them. Oh yeah. And I feel like either we can cause a cave in or alert the dragon if we haven't already. Also, I mean, like since they have prisoners already. I'm kind of worried that some of them might be like dressed up as dragon cultists as a what's the word a trap. I want to be really sure they're on the other side before we go ham on them. Holy shit. My biggest worry is the ones in the cage. If there's any in disguise. Oh, that's true. It could go the other way. But all of them didn't have anything on them, so. Besides the one that my father gifted, they had a good item. Hmm. Could we send Bookie? Oh, wait, uh, Savelle, actually, I have a question for you. It was so. Are you able to hear things through Bookie or just see it? They will That's notice a, good... a bright shining book. Yeah, it's, it's no. and I point at the light <laughs> emanating <laughs> from it. <laughs> so I, be I believe uh, reading it more thoroughly, it's uh, it's not that you can see or hear through it. It just communicates what it sees and hears. Yeah. Okay, so you can't turn it like invisible or anything. Because I'd love to be able to eavesdrop on them somehow, find out if they, you know. Yeah, what they are, what they're doing. Unfortunately, you can't even cast invisibility on it because of no. you to spell casting. Yep. It's mm. literally just like a big glowing ghost. Okay. So. Uh, Fletcher Penumbra, would either of you be close enough to hear them without, like, giving our away a position? I don't care what they have to say. <laughs> uh, again, I'm just uh, trying to make sure they're actually our coldest. Would a 22 perception give me anything for hearing them? You hear the sound of uh, clattering dishes and a... Uh, two twos beat a pair! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> they, they seem like they're uh, on break. <laughs> well, they're probably not prisoners then, so that's good enough for me. Well, Zamakar want to do the honors? I could. I can probably get past them, and at least block one escape path. But I will be away from everyone else in a dangerous position. Well, why don't you leave the blocking to me or Zamarkar? Again, there's an escape path. Well, if they run away, that's not our problem. We're just here for the dragon, right? No, I'm killing all. all. <laughs> well, I mean, you have to pick between the two, you know. Yes. Th that's not picking. That's... <laughs> I picked both. Of them. Um, either <clears throat> way, their time. I so I just sort of look at you at the rest of the group. Like, you guys want to, you know? I, I feel like we need to be on the same page here as far as our goals go. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, we're here for the writer. The writer has a mask. That's that's the big overarching goal. Everything else is just a boner. No, it's not. <laughs> that's kind of what here for. That is a lot of rattling. <laughs> it was dice yeah. and gold. Um, <laughs> probably. All right. Um, either way. Um, well, Fletch at least promised me this. If they do. Run! D don't go after them by yourself. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're dying. Okay. Fine. If I have to go after them by myself, I'm killing them. I'm saying it could be it could be a trap. Is what I'm saying. I don't want you to be like you know charge into the fray and find yourself surrounded. I'm, I'm talking about this because I care. Well, thank you. And she goes invisible. 
And Boy, she's recruit. going to go check on the prisoners. And she's going to uh, sneak over here invisibly. I gesture to uh, gonna, everyone else to back up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out my <laughs> my dagger. I assume we all heard him say that out loud, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. If you guys didn't, I did, and I would have gestured to you guys to back up. Uh, la, 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 la. Um. <laughs> the gank is fucker. Give me one second. Where is my stealth? Oh, okay, there it is. So, I take it I'm good to like sneak in invisible. <laughs> Twenty two to pass him. Yeah. Um, as Fletch goes in and this guy co comes, up, like uh, I'm assuming he doesn't notice me because I uh, also like. Uh, he doesn't notice you, but he, uh, as he gets out in the open here, he rolled a 19 on his his perception, so it's very likely he might notice. I, uh... Yeah, I, the moment he's like about to like turn the corner to the, see them, I literally jump, just pounce on him and just uh, cover his mouth and just stab the shit out of him. <laughs> you know, the good old Assassin's shank, Creed. Shank, shank. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what I should hit him with. Yeah, I'll hit him with acid charm with my dagger. So, 23 to hit. All right. Um, and, and are you active? And are, are you activating the poison? Uh, bonus. I think that's a bonus action for me. You can use an action to cause the thick black poison to coat the blade. So, no, not the twelve, I guess. Um, unless uh, because with the I guess subclass thing, um, it's a bonus action for me to use poisons. Okay. So, would I be able to use uh? My, my bonus action for it to activate it. Uh, yeah. Uh, where's the ask coming from? Oh. That's the, uh, it's my sneak attack, but it's acid damage. So it's, I put the acid charm on my dagger. Hmm. So yeah, it's just my sneak attack. Just making sure okay. it's, uh, this guy's somehow not, uh, <laughs> resistant to piercing or something. So, uh, let's see, 36, 45 damage. So, you, uh, where do you stab him at? Uh, in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> I get, yeah, I have to. He can't scream for help now. All right. So you stab your dagger into into your th his throat, and he tries to scream, but then you watch as the poison and acid just burns his vocal cords from the inside out. And then I just uh like carry his body like um over <laughs> here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, throw it in the water. And then just, <laughs> right. I, I don't throw it in the water. I just kind of like put it down and then float it into the. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. All All right. around me are <laughs> As the blood starts flowing away. Oh, shit. <laughs> I hope this doesn't make the. I say this very quietly. I hope this does not upset the river goddess. I'm sorry, the waterfall uh, goddess. I was thinking we could try to get information out of them, but uh, there goes that. Well, maybe there'll be survivors uh, in the uh, rest there. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You're right. We have lunch with them. <laughs> I gesture to the rest of the group. What do you gesture? 
to come over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, go away, come here. Bring me a like, snack. Blood on her hands. I mean, I'm <laughs> on my face, but... <laughs> yeah. All right. Um... She's just like, I'm assuming Fletch made it inside, so... Let's... I guess we have to hurry up. We can't let her get too far ahead, or she'll um, be in danger. She's blocking their exit, just to make sure they Did can't I see... warn anything. Did I see what's over here? My chance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. Do we so, all want to charge in at the same time? I do a telekinetic thought to her. Telepathy, I guess. Not mm -hmm. telekinetic. Uh, I'm waiting on you guys. Fletch is waiting for us, so I guess in a well, way, yes. Here we go. I, I just pull up my uh, sword and Make sure charge forward. that they don't scream and shout and shit. Don't scream. <laughs> I'm just so clang, 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 clang. Clang, 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 clang. Uh, then how am I supposed to rage? <laughs> <laughs> right. Silently. You. you. At, at least not loud enough to warn anyone outside of these two rooms. <laughs> uh, you want firewall? That's... Actually, a good point. <laughs> uh, when, when they, when Fletch sees them start coming in, uh, she will cast darkness on her short bow. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. The question is where, real quick. What do I have for invisibility? In here? Um. Okay. Assuming that the this is not you know more shit going this way, uh, you could literally put the wall of fire. Um, yeah, just across inside there, and just yeah, just cut all these dudes off. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, just put it this way, and then uh, in this direction, and just the good old fashioned microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Or or a fly bookie right here and do it around them, so they're trapped no, in the there. ring. Yeah, that that works too. Yep. All right. Wow. So. I'm just gonna get Bookie ready, and as soon as uh, Penumbra gives me the signal, that's I'm just gonna like <laughs> Bookie's just gonna view. I was gonna the... say the signal is when these guys go in. <laughs> yeah. Shit starts. You do whatever you need to. <laughs> do they see me yet? Standing this close to that room. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, with the darkness, because yes. it's a, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, so they're looking the other way. Okay. Well, they look that way, and then look the other way. They look yeah. both ways. <laughs> I just sort of do the Neo, like, hand motion, like, come here. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, first thing they do is they grab their horn and sound it. Of oh, course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> All right. Don't have silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably should pick that up. That's my bad. <laughs> I mean, we didn't play it. But out of the, all this whole campaign that's happened to us so many times, and we forget every single time. <laughs> <laughs> that the enemies can sound alarms? <laughs> yeah, that they have fucking horns that they blow every time shit happens. <laughs> Does each one have a horn? Forget. That's a good question. Does each one have a horn? I'm trying to remember if uh, that's the case or it's literally it's one me. of the leaders. Yeah, I gotta figure out if I gotta start pickpocketing people first. <laughs> Before, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, it, it seems like uh, just like randomly uh, throughout, they, they're like given a handful of horns to sound alarms. Yeah, mm. so that's all of them. <laughs> you would have to <laughs> pickpocket each and every single one of them. <laughs> yeah. Unless we are in disguise. <laughs> anyway. Which was an option. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but... I know. I know. <laughs> I don't trust everyone to be able to get through. 
Especially when they have Tabaxi in the Minotaur. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, uh, we'll go ahead and open up initiative. Roll the initiative, Kronk. (laughs) See. Fletch isn't ready. Man, I'm always running so low on those. I wish it was a 24, but she's not ready. Uh, the number was born ready. <laughs> that not go off. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Why did it go off twice? Let's just say that was the three. <laughs> you cannot. What? Well, um... I might be able to change it for you. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is just re- rolling so many initiatives right now. <laughs> How uh, high are the ceilings in here, by the way, DM? That's a good uh, give me a second. I might be uh, able to answer that. All right. I really need to just get the uh, the mass initiative macro going. But that takes me. I have to set that all up. Uh, either that or do uh, what um, our Monday DM does and just do teams. <laughs> yeah. For the most part, they only did okay. <laughs> <laughs> and okay is still a lot better than Fletch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So first up is uh, Penumbra. Okay. Uh, Let's see. I'm going to move 25 here first, and then Cat's Agility. Or what the heck was it called? Feline Agility. Move another 30 feet. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. And I have the smoke bombs, correct? You do? Yeah, so. Uh, did we agree that was like a bonus action to do? Uh, I think it's an action. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. I'm just gonna... <laughs> um... Actually, yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, I believe the way I considered it was it is, uh, by actual rule, it is the interact object uh, action. So... Gotcha. Because you're... Yeah. I I thought we were just going to go with, like, uh, considering rogue and cutting actions, and it was just going to be considered, like, a throw it in part of my stealth check. I guess that's how I rolled in my game, and that's how Mm. I presented it, but, yeah, if you're... It's fine. Um, I'm just gonna move here. Cat's uh, feline agility to move up closer in front. Um, shoot. What looks like the leader in the face with assassinate shot. As I came out of stealth, advantage, advantage, uh, and damage is going to be fire. Twenty-four to hit. That'll hit. And that's going to be lots of damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, 42, 25. So 67. Four, yeah, 67 damage. <laughs> Still up. Well... I'm going to get the fuck out of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was 25 to get here, 10 to get there, and then... Uh, that's another 30 to get there. Back up. And bonus action. <laughs> that's my turn.
All right. Guy's going to get right up here. Seeing all you right in a hallway, hallway in a nice, in a, uh, in a cone. It's going to uh, hit you with a uh, orb of dragon's breath. Oh. 23 to hit. That hits. That hits me. Uh, let's see. what What's the damage type? Well, it's uh, actually uh, not a cone. It is a single target, according to the uh, thing. So. Oh, so who's he hitting? <laughs> I guess he's uh, hitting Renford. That's right in front. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's the damage type? <laughs> it is fire. Ah. Yeah, I have uh, nothing against anti-fire, so I'll just take that hit. So 13 damage. Okay. It's damage dice. And luckily for you, it actually rolled pretty, pretty meh. <laughs> That's a five d eight. <laughs> then he's going to back up over here. All right. Oh. Next, next one. Well, of course you won't plan. eat. No. <laughs> so, of, of course you don't have any uh, long range, so he's going to get right up in you. So, Scimitar. 19 to hit. It does not. Alright. Second strike. 17 to hit. Still now. <laughs> ha ha! Alright. That is his turn. Samarkar. I'm going to step up uh do you rule that you could share a space with an ally? You just can't end your turn there? Yes. Alright, yeah, I'll step within uh Renford and I'll attack the uh dragon cultist. Could you like bonus action like use your horns to push them back? And then move in the spot. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. do you have to attack first? Otherwise, no, I have to attack first. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I have to hit. Alright. But uh you make your attack. Recklessly. Alright. Battle hit. Or twenty one once. If you yeah, then I. Oh, I did roll once. Yeah, my bad. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, twenty-one damage. Is he still up? Yep. All right, then I'll use hammering horns on him. I so say you didn't want to just take your second strike. No, I want to push him back. All right. Strength. He rolls a nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he gets pushed back ten feet. Right. To the wall. Just like out of the way. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Get out the way. <laughs> Alright, that was twenty. And I'll run up to this guy and hit him as well with my second attack. Alright. Uh, this one I'll do uh, a great weapon master with reckless. Oh. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I'll take a 12 hits. <laughs> nope. All right, well, that's my turn. All right. Dragon Claw's gonna run up at you with, with his scimitar. That's a lot of Dragon Claws in a row. Holy shit. <laughs> 18 to hit. Yeah, it hits. 12 slashing damage. Uh, Sec second sorry. strike. 19 to hit for 5 slashing damage. 12 and 5. 
I don't believe you've reached yet. Mm -mm. Action dash. Another two strikes on you. Too far. 23 to hit for seven. And the next one misses for a seven to hit. So seven total. This guy's going to try to uh, investigate what the heck this darkness that's crowded <laughs> near him is. <laughs> So he just kind of hands out in front of him. It's a good way to lose a finger. Say, so, yeah, I don't believe uh, the darkness has like a elf I said, or something. Say, so, does it have a thing where you can do investigation? Mm. Uh, I mean, technically, you're investigating with like disadvantage because you can't see. I guess. Yeah. Trying to find. Someone source. in there? Okay. I don't know. Is so, that against my stealth? Uh, let's see. Investigation's intellect based, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's a ten. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think my passive stealth is higher. <laughs> How about a fourteen? I think. So I think there's a wall right there because I put it myself to where only one person could fit in. So he bumps into his buddy, basically. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I can't bring the map above this belt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That would be your turn as you kind of like hear these people stumbling around in your darkness. You can actually see them, I believe, in your darkness. Yeah. So you just kind of see them just hands out, searching for you. She just takes one step back um, because she's technically invisible to them. And bonus action. He will use Giant's Might. Now, interesting feature with Giant's Might, if you are too, uh, if the area where you are at is too small to grow big, you just don't grow big, but I still get the damage increase um, on one attack. I don't think it's uh, uh, big enough for you to uh, grow big. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, just so get to, buff. <laughs> so to the first guy, uh, Sharpshooter, See giant smite, he needs wrath for bow. He gonna die. Uh, 24 to hit. Uh, hits. For a total of 28. 35. 35 damage. <laughs> yep, that was dead. Uh, take off genie's wrath, takes off giant smite to the second guy that's in the hallway. Same thing. He's going to get an arrow. 21 to hit. That hits. Uh, 19. 27. 27 damage. That also kills him. Awesome. Man, their leaders are. <laughs> the fangs are fucking built like units. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, she will step yeah, up. They have a lot more health and a lot more armor. They're also a higher D uh, challenge rating compared to the standard Dragon Claw. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she will step up. Um, the cloud should come with her and put this guy in darkness as well. Let's see. Yeah, because she needs to block that area. Well, it's, it's still emanating. centered on her. It's just 15 feet with it. Uh, yeah. 15 foot radius, yeah. And she will act and surge because she needs to get to Zammer car and shoot the guy that's already been hurt. Uh, da, 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 da. Action surge down. Boys in short bow. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 18. 
28, 38 damage. 38 damage. <laughs> All right. Guy. He is dead. <laughs> <laughs> and she really wants to get one of these guys was this guy hurt before no not yet okay she really wants to help Zamakar out let's see so yeah let's shoot him directly in the back uh 19 to hit misses as he casts shield. <laughs> <laughs> Even from an invisible source. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have anything because of shield. <laughs> he, just hears two, he just hears two death screams uh, in the cloud and then sees his buddy get fucking him. Annihilated, and he's like, "What the fuck? Shield!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying Cloud to bad, think. Bad. Okay, so it technically didn't hit, um, so I can't use my cloud rune to. Oh, I'm too far from cloud rune anyway. Uh, yeah, that's her turn. All right. Nope, that one was dead. <laughs> oh, shit! shit sorry. <laughs> I think I skipped two when you or now. No, I moved it and then that guy was dead, so I moved it again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's as they all just come marching up. Okay. Okay, two ways I could go about this. New AoE damage for two, I could either do a firewall and try to finagle this somehow without hitting people, or I could just... cast meteors again, and just throw rocks. Uh, I would probably do meteors, because... Uh, what's, what's firewall again? Is it a third level? It it's a uh, fourth level, but I have more fourth. Oh level. right. I have four four level spell slots. I only have two three level sp uh, level three spell slots. So left. Gotcha. Like, the I, DM, I can waste. I can waste a fourth level spell slot right now. Say as the DM okay. prepares the prepares the firewall. The firewall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Actually, ew. that might work. Hang on, let me check firewall. Yeah, I was gonna say, be careful in. because you can, depending on where you angle the damage side, it could hit Zamakar, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I believe you can either hit Zamakar or Renford. So if you did meteors, you can safely Just... hit at least four of them. Because yeah, these guys don't have that much HP, so. Uh... You could just meteors the shit out of them and then uh, cantrip yeah. them as well, because meteors is a bonus action. Yeah, like if you put two meteors right on this guy's face, it might clear out that hallway a little bit. Yeah. So y'all can get in. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> that's so yeah, broken, let's... I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess still. <laughs> okay, cool. Say, that's, uh... that's not a meteor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I throw a rock at him and it's just beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing beer bottles at people. <laughs> meteor, meteor. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, two but, uh, but I'll cast Melfinus Meteors. Uh, we'll do, and then I'll put the first one right here because I think that'll hit the most people. Um, so what's the radius on it? Uh, five, it's five feet. feet. Five feet. So, so these two here, it's uh, will be a in that, radius. That area. So if you so, target it here, it should hit all four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to use those? Uh, <laughs> 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 those things, huh? The black hole sucks them in. <laughs> I mean, he could change the damage type. Uh, can you change it to anything, or uh... I can change it to anything? Oh wow! The thing is, yeah, Literally we're just make it force spell. damage. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking tonight. Yeah, no, yeah. That, uh... is, that is crazy. That is such a crazy fucking ability. It's, it's broken, and I love it. Yeah, that's um... the first thing, isn't it? For wizards, or for that wizard class it's... subclass? So... I say it's part of the subclass. 
Yeah, and you get it at like level two. Level two? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. But, um. Yeah, I'll change that to force damage. <laughs> and so that should prevent a cave. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hey Zane, uh, so um, I would like to take two more levels in Wizard <laughs> in the campaign. Uh, not part of the order of the scribes. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's six damage. Yeah, so that's six force damage, and I think it's a bonus action. I can throw another one, right? You can throw well, two. Well, is your bonus action to throw two? Is, that, and is there a save for the yes, spell at all? Gonna... Oh yeah, there um, is. <laughs> yes, it's a deck save of sixteen. Well, I should have rolled that before. Sorry to subtract the, the uh, health from them. I mean, Oof. see if they, they make uh, it just do plus three. Yeah, you just heal them plus three if they uh, if they make it. Yeah. All right. Well, two of them saved. Oof. Funny enough, the uh, one that. Uh, only has five health, only takes the three damage. Well, well he's gonna have to make another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Hang on, I gotta do some adjusting here. Forgot uh, their uh, balanced health. Mm. I'll, I'll say this one's still uh, almost dead, but uh, I forgot that uh, I increased everyone's health <laughs> to uh, balance it out. Uh, give them a chance, <laughs> even though they don't have a chance. <laughs> then once you're done there, I'm throwing another rock <laughs> <laughs> for another six <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> At least right, it's a constant, <laughs> and it's not yep. lower. That one's gone. And it's average, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oops. So you're just starting to subtract damage that don't even make them save. <laughs> <laughs> all NPCs automatically fail, all saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. And that's all I can uh, do you have because an action. I don't want to move. That was that was my action to cast the spell, and then mm, I thought it was just a bonus action to cast it, and then you use your bonus action to throw them. No, uh, it's, I, um, it's an action. I, I, I say I believe uh, with the meteors, it's an action to cast it and then you use your bonus action to send it out because it like oh, okay. uh, circles you with meteors and then you bonus yeah. action send them out gotcha the action is action right. to summon them yeah bonus action is row two so that's all of them don't want to move stable books where i want it to be and uh yeah okay <laughs> all right i assume uh, that guy to my to my right upper right can i hit him for where i am or have to get closer Uh, da, 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 da. As I zoom into the map to sh check uh, yeah. line of sight, <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to rule that you might have to take one step closer. Okay, it's worth the fair check because I cannot see the uh, all these glowing lights. I can't see where. Okay, so we're going to go forward. Oh, not to do that. There we go. So I do that. Um, of the two right next to me, which one of them looks worse off, like, damage-wise? Mm, the north one, uh, I believe. The one, yeah, the one right above you, considering okay. I did not... I forgot to do that. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack him. The one right ahead. All right. Oof. Miss. Okay, second time. That hits. Okay. 11 damage there. All right. Still standing. And then with my, uh, my third ability, Samatar again. That hits. Okay. And he is dead. 
Kill him. <laughs> yeah, I had to up everyone's hit points because you guys hit like freight trains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, if I keep going further, it's attack of opportunity. So I'm gonna stay right the fuck where I am. You can go there. As long as you're in uh, okay. or in there. His space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like he, yeah. I'm still gonna stay so, where I am though, so they can't go attack the the squishier uh, team members. Yeah, you're blocking the path. That's right. <laughs> Defense. So hit this button. Alrighty. Well, ironically, I can't really shoot any <laughs> even if I go in there so I'm just be at super disadvantage so uh, let's see you can probably Five, hit him you sharpshooter as well yeah cause uh, well, well at the same time yeah, yeah I would literally like uh, I could be right like here-ish to do it Um, I think I hit him. Well, you know what? I really feel like stabbing people because I haven't done that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to move behind Renford and can I, uh, I'm assuming I could stab this guy right here, right? Yeah, you just say that you're in that space where Renford is, stab him, and then you oh, end your... Yeah. Um, and was I hidden from him? Because he... Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, he came from, like, this direction and he didn't literally turn the corner and, it, and sort of looked behind him for didn't see me, so... <laughs> just out of nowhere, the, the number comes out and just starts shanking. Um, do I need to hit? That hits. Uh, that's, uh, sad. Um... Painful. It's yeah, it's 20 damage because uh, the poison's not there anymore. It only works uh, once um, on one person. Okay. So it's 20 damage on him. Uh, bonus action. Bonus action stab with a dagger. You don't reroll. Oh, that is fire damage because he changed it. Mm -hmm. So it's not piercer. Yeah, and then the piercer only lets me reroll one. So it would just barely like. <laughs> maybe increase it um then 25 to hit and it's going to be three damage because i don't add my modifier that with my offhand all right just barely alive um yeah i was gonna say if it wasn't the fire cat damage it would have been piercing damage for your sneak attack and you mm -hmm. had rolled three ones yeah i could have just re-rolled one of them for yeah for piercer um, I'm get just in his face as a free action. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty. It might kill him. Uh, I'll move here just to also help Sam McCarr at this point because <laughs> I'm not necessarily squishy, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Dodge tank. <laughs> All right. I also give uh, Renford flanking if on this guy. Ooh. So, 19. I was going to say, this is going to hurt. Yeah. Which I just realized I have that visible, so you can just see the damage. Yep, <laughs> 20 damage. <laughs> was that to okay. me? Yep. Yep. Okay. That's also to you. <laughs> That's five feet short for my movement. From backing up and then going back forward again. Wish I had enough speed. So Zamrakar is kind of getting mowed down at the moment. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Zamrakar. Just watched his health get depleted. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, now I'm gonna bonus action rage. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be mad. 
Yeah, as you currently have a uh, sword sticking out of you, you're like, that hurt! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'll attack the one that's in the middle of all three of them first. All right. Recklessly. All right. That hits. <clears throat> Right. Still standing. And then uh, I'll attack the one that was below that's nearest to Penumbra. This one's with Great Weapon Master. Reckless. Okay. That hits. Yeah, so that's 30 damage. Well, that's 40, isn't it? That's 40, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he is gone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And bonus action attack again. max damage on. I already used my bonus action to rage. So you, so um, you kind of like uh, flash into the one and then just carry your weight and just continue the blade to the guy next to him and just chop the guy next to him in half and then just stare <coughs> at, at, at the one guy with rage. Man, that was two <laughs> points off from being full damage. Unless he pooped himself. <laughs> <laughs> His full damage is 42 damage, that's crazy. It's per swing. That guy is dead, it is not his turn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, this one is going to attempt to take a swing at uh, Penumbra. Or an 18. Mm. Is that my... Yeah, that, okay, so that does hit. So eight, I thought my eight. So eight slashing sense. damage. Um Oh eight? Yeah, I'll take that. Alright. Second attack. Also an eighteen for six. Okay, I'll take that too. And that is it. <laughs> Alright. This guy's like we're taking the Minotaur down. Keep striking. And misses with a 14. <laughs> <laughs> and misses with a 7. That's a lot what of shit talking from that side. <laughs> <laughs> He's so busy Actually, talking. Wait. Uh, actually, the second one would hit. I mistaked that because I forgot he would have advantage with the pack tactics for that second hit. So it would have been three dead. Three slashing damage reduced to probably one. <laughs> wow. It's like, I hit him! Why is he not bleeding? <laughs> he was bleeding a moment ago. What happened? <laughs> He's too oh, angry to bleed. Always. <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> nope, they're dead. Oh. Okay. <laughs> when you uh, went to his turn, put his dead body over me. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Flesh is hiding amongst the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to step on top of the dead body. Scimitar to. Uh... To Renford for 21. You said 21? Yep. That does not. Um, okay, I break. I win ties, right? No. 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 Okay, so in that so case. would hit. Yeah, so 21 hits. Alright, 14 slashing. Ow. And a crit fail for a 6. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> this one so, breaks so off his <laughs> armor. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was gonna say. <laughs> More like he goes, he he gets the sword into your armor to deal the damage, but then gets stuck in the armor. He's like, hey, hey, damn it, crap. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> I just wink at him. <laughs> How's your night going? <laughs> and flirting in the midst of battle. How unprofessional. <laughs> I would say that's taunting. 
Is your darkness still going? Yeah. She's concentrating Bonk. the whole 10 minutes. So this whole area, nice, yeah. So, yeah, they shouldn't be able to see anything past there. God, I'm so um, confused. <laughs> this creepy <laughs> darkness keeps approaching! It's creeping. Uh, <laughs> She's shooting arrows out of it. <laughs> this is advanced darkness. So, this guy. Alright. At least get one body off of uh, Zamakar. Actually, how close is... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see, Giant's Might, Genie's Wrath. Actually, let's save both of those damage-wise. That's to that guy, hopefully. So, 30 total? Uh, yeah. All right, dead. Nice. And then, to this guy. So I, I will. T so you guys now know the uh, rough hit points. Uh, they start with 16. I bumped it to 26. <laughs> Man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So hopefully we can hit this guy and alleviate some things off of Zamrakar. Let's fuck this guy. 20 to hit. That hits. 37 damage. You guys are rolling hot on these uh, extra damage for the fucking poison. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. <laughs> Alright, well, he's still standing. Reaction spit from the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the hit. <laughs> the waterfall goddess is. It is pleased. a range attack, so it'll still have a plus two. <laughs> <laughs> you deal zero spit damage. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what about emotional damage? <laughs> <laughs> emotional damage. I guess I say if you uh, if it was Asian, he just died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe that's the dead dragon. Oh, yeah, that, that is the dead one. Let me just get rid of these dead ones so it keeps. <laughs> there we go. So this guy. Gonna come up here and take a swing at Zamrakar. Thirteen misses and a twenty hits for five reduced to. Uh, let's see, that would be two, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. whole, whole whopping two slashing. All right. All right. First order of business. Uh, the book will throw one meteor here. Again, change the force for eight damage. Dex 15. All right. Another one. Yeah, but. Should I do it at the ground or should I do it like at the same spot or should I do it at the other one? Probably on these Actually, two, just because I like. Yeah, I'll do it. At, yeah, I'll do it again. At this point. <laughs> yeah. Another one. Shit, there we go. <laughs> Man. All right, hang on. Because I forgot to. Once again, I auto failed their saves. Uh, <laughs> well, again, heal them before if they pass. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, he did. <laughs> that was still alive. <laughs> uh, let's take some heat off of Big Zam. Uh, gonna do as an action. Uh, yeah, we'll do an Eldritch Blast at this guy. Does an 18 hit. 18 does hit. Alright. Oh my That'd be god. 19. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's a 3d8 now because we're level 11. I keep on for yep. I am not yep. so yeah. not used to cantrips like actually reaching this level. Yeah. Holy shit. And Oof. then uh 
Deck save of 16 for... Well, constitution, constitution save. save. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, that's right. That's con save. It's not deck save. Silly me. <laughs> I dodged the poison. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... I've had better drink. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, that was cold. <laughs> <laughs> that was two eights on the dice. Jesus. Yep. <laughs> I prefer my beer room temperature. <laughs> <laughs> They're so evil. <laughs> um, that wood tips were inferred over. Oh yeah, now they all die. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that was at that guy. He's still up after 19. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all I can really do. All right. Um, Renford. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so starting with the one, I get a flunking on the one to my right, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. We'll start with that. <laughs> that hits. Okay. I'm assuming you, you can do more than three damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. He's, so he's dead. Yeah. All right. And then for my second attack, focusing on the guy directly in front of me. Um, right. No flunking. This time, let me turn that off. Ah. All right. I'm assuming you can do more than two damage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cool. I would okay. be impressed if you couldn't. <laughs> uh, how far, let's see how far away this guy is. Uh... You should be close enough. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to charge up right beside his ammo car then. Can I go for a triple kill? Come on. <laughs> see if it's it possible. All right. So, my third final attack also hits. All right, and then uh... and how would you take the final enemy down? Hey. Ooh, <laughs> um, triple kill. Just like just across the neck, triple uh, kick him back. back. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Kick him backwards. <laughs> so it kind of like blade to the side you just slash one guy slash the other and start running and then just slash him again yeah <laughs> it's also very fast because it's simple power speed fuck room temperature beer <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right that is initiative uh since darkness kind of lasts a little while <laughs> now you guys all see this magical darkness in the distance what could be hiding in there? Could be an enemy. We <laughs> <laughs> know it's you, Naruto. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> we either right. need to patch the car up or take a rest. I'm just going to look around the corner real quick. She <laughs> goes and looks around the corner for darkness. Well, they see the giant cloud of darkness floating around. Maybe. <laughs> I say, it is um, pretty obvious. I was going to say, <laughs> well, uh, be careful with that because it he, snuffs out light. <laughs> So uh, the torches in that corner are knocked out because well, <laughs> yeah. the darkness consumed over, them. Well, over there still, she will still put her bow down because she casted it on her bow. Oh, so gotcha, yeah. the darkness only kind of comes up. And she has darkness, you know, kind of like right there. Um, but she can, you know, safely peek around the corner. All right. <laughs> You're just awesome. passively uh, looking. Uh, let's do this. All right. So you see... Path there. And you're looking down that corner, correct? Yeah, currently first uh, corner. Yeah. Is the so wall? Your, your, yeah, your vision just <laughs> hit the wall. Okay. And then she will stealthily looking up here as well Ooh. I say you might get the uh, uh, with your dark vision like because uh, you see in complete color right yes so you'd see uh, select pieces of artwork uh, carpets and tapestries that cover the uh, floor and wall Uh, you probably catch the edge of a bed. 
and uh, let's see. I think the, the rest of it is out of your view. Okay. Um, okay. And that was in this room. Yeah. Hmm. Gotcha. Boop, 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 boop. Still stealthy, and then looking down that one real quick. Perception. How do oh, you uh, I screwed up. Helps if I read the trap before uh, before <laughs> you were there. <laughs> so unfortunately, you're within five feet of it. Will my perception have seen it before going to it? Uh, you were perceiving, not investigating. Oof. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're specifically ball. looking down the hallway, not specifically looking for traps, unfortunately. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I also, like I said, helps if the DM uh, reads uh, what that trap is before you get there. But yeah, uh, if anyone within five feet of the glyph, this uh, tunnel is in particular, I will point it out here. right there is uh protected by a glyph of warding you need okay. a dc 14 investigation check to notice the glyph if anyone steps within five feet of the glyph it erupts dealing 5d8 acid damage to any oh. creature within 20 feet so it would have been here when i was there yep is it a safe well, it just says it erupts and deals 5d8 damage. Oh, cool. So it's not even a save. Uh, 18's not horrible. <laughs> Do we just hear an explosion, like, from over here? Yes. <laughs> you, you hear a... Oh, shit! Just run towards him. And then you just Eight. see darkness. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> She'll pick up her bow and come back, uh, and she will unsummon the bow. I was going to say, still still in darkness yeah, until you unsummon the darkness. <laughs> just well, I'm not unsummoning the darkness, but just unsummon my bow with the oh, active right. light. Okay? Yeah. Is anybody going to heal me? You can, you, can see you. Some, you can see some fresh burn marks on, <laughs> on Fletch. What happened? Takes a deep breath in. Are we taking a short rest? <laughs> you're not going to explain why trap. you're burned at all? It was a trap. Okay. I asked you to patch up Sam Akar yeah. more. He's... Yeah, I was about to until hearing a fucking explosion. <laughs> all right, Sam Akar. Uh, actually, do we still have that... Um, ref We could use the amulet first, possibly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Are we I was going to say, before Fletch did all that, I did a, I was investigating this room, so I uh, did a 15 investigation, find anything useful here. Um, oh, that reminds me. I actually need to uh, close out of uh, Roll20 and back in real quick, so give me just a second. Okay. okay. Just so I can uh, join back into the group after Fletch comes back <laughs> from that shit yeah. <laughs> and I could show up with whatever I find where is it there it is are we going to try to take a short rest so yeah more than likely I cause... think we should burn yep. yeah hit dive first rather than any potions or curing how many hours did we tell the uh, prisoners before they try to go we said a couple okay yeah she was taking that into account that yeah, we're going to be short resting somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I could li literally, we can literally walk over there, and <laughs> it's not too far off. <laughs> I just just run back. There we go. Tell them. Uh, I, what I forgot to add add my new add on ons to the. Uh, uh, so I quickly did that real quick. I have a treasure deck. Oh, nice. Cool. So I can tell you exactly what you find here in a second, instead of having to make something up. <laughs> Once my roll twenty loads back in. 
So let's see here. Going off of challenge ratings. Why did we never try to take these orbs that these cultists use? So we have... I think it was specifically <laughs> like only they could use it or something, because I think we did look at it. Like when Let's we start with the... the uh, Two Dragon Fangs, which are challenge rating 5, so I will draw from a challenge rating 5 through 8 deck. Alright, I need someone to roll me a d12. Uh, sit right I'm now. just looking for it. Yeah, I'll roll it. Okay. 11. 11. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure why he has an entire tapestry, but a large tapestry <laughs> depicting a mounted warrior uh, fording a raging river somewhat thoroughbred and in need of restoration worth 150 gold pieces. All right, well, I'm putting that in the bag of holding for the for our. <laughs> he just has this on him. <laughs> Apparently, that's so funny. All right, yeah, I just put that in the bag of holding for the ring later. Um. All right. All right. Next one. Uh, let's see. Oops. Let's recall that. Let's see. Oops. Recall and shuffle. That one. All right, another D12. Sorry, I was putting in the... Um... Yep. Uh, da -da -da. All right, a nine. A vial of liquid that looks and smells like a strong, earthy liquor. liquor. No, nope, this is for Renford and Savella, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I hope it better not be room temperature. <laughs> Samarcar likes to drink. True. Oh, I'll have a drink. I don't see it. It, 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 may, it may need to be identified. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that everything to find in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So as I. Uh, as Fletch comes back and they, you know, they're bickering. Uh, as they say, well, no, that's the two uh, dragon things. I'm rolling individually for the challenge ratings. So we got oh, gotcha. uh, a couple of dragon claws, claws to do. So one, two, three. Yeah, so let's see here. I guess uh, right. I guess either way, as I come back in here because I have the, the dragon claws are all in here. <laughs> and I'll loot <laughs> them later. And I just see Fletch just like with acid so burns. So one more d12. Okay. A six. So each uh, dragon claw individually has uh, nine gold on them and eight copper. Okay. Uh, all together or individually? Individually. Okay, so six times how many there were? Mm -hmm. uh, there. Let's see. Crap. I already deleted some of the tokens. Let's see how many were there? <laughs> I think there was four on the left room, and then like five or six on the other room. Yeah, I think there's like eight or nine total. Okay, so nine times six. 54. 54. Eight. How many silver or how many? Uh, copper. Uh, each one had eight copper a piece, so six times eight, or uh, eight times eight. Okay, eight times eight. Um, sixty-four, right? Yes. Sixty-four copper. I have a rule question, Kenny. Yep. All right, so um, attunement during a short rest. Can I still regain hit dice as use mm -hmm. hit dice as normal? Okay, Should cool. Be. What are you attuning to? Uh, that sash from earlier, the giants. Um, oh yeah, what was it called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna you're Hill gonna become giant. swole. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be very swole. Belt of Hill Giant Strength. That's what it's called. Swolford. <laughs> Swolford. <laughs> All right, you guys also have that potion that uh, you haven't uh, checked on. So oh yeah. Oh, I, I just like sit down. Also show them the alcohol. Just, sorry, whatever. Are we taking be. a short rest? Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, okay. Depending on how and much then... health you have left, we'll heal the rest. Basically, depending on yeah. what we've got for resources. 
I was just checking to see if I was like, going to find potions beforehand or, you know. Because uh, funny enough, when you the reason why I say you need to identify that potion uh, right after you were talking about the uh, Hill Giant Sash is because that potion, when I rolled it in the uh, loot thing, was a potion of Hill Giant Strength. <laughs> Uh, all right. Wow. Well, that's good for Zamrakar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can chug that Devil shit. strong. He ain't got to right. attune to that one. So, so yeah, during the short rest, we're full cast identify yeah. on both. The, the, the only difference is the potion only lasts an hour. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's all he needs. <laughs> I think it boosts your strength up to 22 or 24? 21 for Hill Giant. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that will help you out quite a bit, uh, Yeah. All right, and then yeah, also do the uh, dead buy on the mysterious liquid. That's what the liquid was. Was the potion of hill giant? Yeah. The 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 other liquid. You, That's there what was the potion, about. and then there was the crap they got off of the the dudes in here. I think the only thing that needed to be identified was the the liquor. Yeah. Oh, that was. Uh, yeah, everything. Dude, I'm everything else is like, just like. like uh, and I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I kept the copper pieces. I don't know if we want to split the fifty-four gold pieces or just add that to the loot, the global loot. I thought that was just, everything was going to the party loot. I mean, yeah, I so wanna... I'll show you guys an example of one of the uh, loot, uh, loot cards. This is a uh, challenge rating five loot card that I draw. Nice. Uh, she would just take like a deep breath, breathe out, and it kind of looks like some of the acid burns are already healing quite a bit. Umber, you're got a few cuts on you. Just uh, <laughs> covers it a bit, and she's like, "Yeah, oh, she's gonna take a couple." S sits down next to you. Evan, oh. remember to do. Uh, I added it. Constitution, yeah. Okay, on each die. Yeah, I did. It's okay. yeah, my Constitution. I uh, just forgot to. Fa uh, I didn't hit the hit dice button, but I did the math. Yeah, I was gonna okay. say if if you hit the hit dice thing, it just adds it automatically. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, do we so we saw that potion for Zamarcar? I could use lay on hands of course, but um I like how you guys all assume I'm just gonna let you take this uh, short rest uh, un unhindered. Are you oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were <laughs> we had confirmed it. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> So we take our health back? <laughs> no, I'll be nice and give you guys the uh, short rest, but uh, you guys did kind of just set off a large explosion, and there was the, more the horn called. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These assholes are so slow getting to us. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't want to have to uh, trigger the boss fight uh, with you guys' uh, Zimmer partial Zimmer. health. That's exactly what I needed. I can't turn my max. Oh, cool. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so what do we have here? Let's see. What does this I guy look like? Oh. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, sorry I was going to say uh, during that, I was at least giving Zamarkar at least one of my health potions if he wants to down it. All right. I'm going to down three health potions then. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> he comes in. His aim is taking piss. <laughs> <laughs> what do we now have this, here? This, this <laughs> won't do. Unexpected guests. Oh, no. We were invited here. And you are? Is this guy in Kota's clothes? He is. You're an elf and you're against the elven people. Make a history check. 
Oof. All right. Anyone else with a Alvin background make a history check? Does that include half elf? Right. Yep. <laughs> Open B room. Does that include someone whose friend is an elf? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone else rolling? 15 is high enough, but I just want to see what everyone else gets. Oh, I, I guess I missed the 25. That's definitely high enough. <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> yeah. So, not only is he a elf, but he's a fairly uh, recognizable elf, considering he is the long-lost son of King Melendrock. Oh, oh. The same <laughs> one who went missing. Mm -hmm. okay. He just said long-lost, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Prince oh, Argothost, right? That was his name. Uh, no, that is the brother of Near and Vain. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, Near and Vain is the one who uh, went missing. Okay. Lap dog. <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry, I don't have time to uh, entertain guests at the moment, and he's just going to cast Poisonous Cloud. What a dick. Oops, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Counterspell it. Counterspell it. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Right. Counterspell that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, just for shits and giggles, we're going to do that counterspell at fourth level. All right. Well, uh, then it, it will be countered because I don't believe it, it is a fourth level. It doesn't All say right. because it is a twice per day ability. I will go in. Oh, come on. I'll go ahead and link the ability, but... Right after he says, I don't have the time, I'm like, maybe you should clear your schedule. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh shit, VR. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say... Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why. At least he waited yeah. an hour. That was cool of him. <laughs> He's trying to think of something cool to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they probably thought like, eh, those guys probably have it handled. <laughs> and then an hour later, yeah, those guys didn't come back to report. Uh, better go check yeah. on them. Wow. It was the DM being nice. Otherwise, I would have he would have ambushed you, and you guys already were missing quite a bit. That's why. Oops. I didn't select his token. There yeah. oh, I'll take the 17, not the 6. <laughs> you won't argue if you take the 6. <laughs> Based off okay. his token, does he look like a uh, vampire or undead? Nope. Okay. He just extremely has poor nutrition is all. So he is wearing a uh, green warm speaker attire. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> does he have a mask? Yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, no, he does not. Uh. So he's a warm. So. I was going to say, do we all recognize that? I think Flesh will recognize Worm Speaker Cause, attire. Because right? we, we've seen the Worm Speaker attire before from the dwarf dude, right? Because he's a Worm Resmere. Speaker. Yeah. And Resmere, yeah. And I take it one of Fletch's family members would have been Worm Speaker attire. Because they used to have the black dragon mask. Yeah. I forgot he was exiled and then thought dead, not just missing. So for the ones who uh, passed the <laughs> the history check,
Uh, here you go, if you want the uh, full look. Oh. Oh. Clearly not a bad guy. He put, <laughs> he put uh, bugle chips on his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Butch is getting really angry. <laughs> seeing this elf and green worm speaker and doing this to her people. Note to self, give him for this guy before Fletch kills him. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want to do is like take his outfit and use my disguise kit to like assume his place. Entirely possible. Yeah. I was born for this role. <laughs> um, I guess considering Worm Speaker, I <laughs> talked to Fletch in, in our head and just like, I'm assuming I'll live on this one. Sadly, we need to get the mask. All right. Um, then we can slowly kill him. She'll switch to cold damage on her crossbow, and it's not going to be a full assassinate because she's not hidden. <laughs> so it's just going to be, it's still advantage because she's above him on the initiative, but she's going to take her shot. Wow. Um, 16 to hit. <laughs> Misses. Okay. Uh... Hmm. I'm just gonna cut his escape. Switch to her daggers. Or short sword and dagger. And that will be her turn. Okay. Um I'll hit the button. Fuck. We have to take him alive. We need to get the mask back. And if he's in green, worm speaker tire. Are you saying all that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, if he's in green, worm speaker tire, she just mm -hmm. goes to her elven grasp and bow. Okay. Because uh, I don't know if he is strong against poison or whatnot. Uh, let's just here. And we shall shoot a shot. Regular shot, no sharpshooter. Uh, she is aiming at his legs, and we'll get the hands later. Uh, let's go for the legs first. 28 to hit. That'll hit. Or I forgot to put the genie's wrath. 14. Yeah, 10 lightning, 4 thunder, and a d6. Let's see if this mofo could grapple. He has not grappled yet. But we shall try again. Elven longbow. 29 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, going right for the other knee for another 14 damage. Okay. He's still not grappled. Um, now we got a dragon to fight, so she will save her action surge at least. Turning to Penumbra right behind behind him. Excuse me, my dear, you're in the way. Twenty one to hit. That hits for no nine piercing and nine poison. Um, what I'll, is... I'll uncanny that in, so it's just 9 damage. Okay. Second strike. 18 yeah. to hit. That hits. What is he five, striking 5 with? piercing and 21 poison damage. Ooh. What is he striking with? Short swords. 
Okay, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like a different style. Uh, um, nope. She will cloud rune that and bring that damage to herself. Uh, what was that damage again? Five and 21. Five, I can't. Or 21. I'm resistant to poison damage. 21. So oh, you 10. too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are? <laughs> <laughs> and then turns around and looks at uh, Fletch, who's talking about the dragon mask. So but if you that's... want it, then you'll have to come and get it. And bonus action, Misty Step. J sequence. <laughs> oh, I don't want to keep wasting counter spells. <laughs> You're gonna have to, bud. Oh, uh. <laughs> I got can counter his misty step. He's important. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm gonna counter his misty step again, again at fourth level. All right, I'll put him back over there. Bane <laughs> 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 again. That's what happens when your uh, bosses don't have counter spell as well. <laughs> <laughs> counter, counter. Yep. All right. So that would be Samarkar's turn. Uh, as, he, as, he, as he makes an attempt to uh, disappear and then realizes he's still in the same spot. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I will reckless great weapon attack him, non-lethal. Okay. Take out his kneecap, Samarkar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dirty 20. Yeah, that's 30 damage right there. All right, still up. And Take out the other one. second attack. <laughs> Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna hammering horns him. Uh, it's up to you, but if I can, I would like to throw him diagonally into the corner over here this way. <laughs> I was gonna say for a second, I was like, is he gonna shove him into me? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like... Yeah, 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 no. <clears throat> if you okay. can shove him in any direction, yeah. Alright. He failed. <laughs> so he is over there now. And, uh... I'm gonna step up here and attack him again, non-lethal. Exact same thing with everything. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Chop his legs off, Sam Rickbar. We, we have room for the bandage it up. Non-lethally cut his legs off and <laughs> name this man. Jeez. Instead of doing math, I'm just individually subtracting each number. Nice. And then I'm going to tell him to yield. <laughs> You're just laughing. Not He's okay. a cultist. All right. All right. Uh, do I go for damage or do I make him stay in place? Uh, if you can non lethally put him down, basically. Cut his tongue out. <laughs> yeah, no, we need him to talk. 100% need him to talk. And then cut his tongue out. No, 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 we don't need him to talk. I have to tech thoughts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I'm. I'm yes, but I have something that'll make him tell the truth, and he needs his tongue for that. <laughs> well, you can still Touché. understand him, but trying to cast a spell when you can't talk properly is extremely hard to do oh well 
Either way, um, uh, Are you talking about Zone yeah, Truth or something else? No, 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 it's a uh, cold trick question. Okay. Well, I've got Zone Truth. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Uh, I mean, in that case, let's, uh, let's magic missile this bitch. All right. Magic missile his fingers off. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Can't cast spells. <laughs> all right. Can't rip the components. So, uh, yep, all three. All right. Do right. you want me to roll for the other two or use? Uh... I, I would roll the d4 plus one uh, two more times. Oh, okay. So, 2d4. So, that is eight, 11 total damage. Force damage straight to the face. Right, I'm just gonna re-add that three and then subtract eleven because oops, ah crap. I did equals eleven, not <laughs> No. No, so that's wait, that did I do that math right? Yes, yes I did. Okay, cool. Never mind. Oops. Uh, let's see, what was the add? I think there we go. That's better. And then minus 11. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then, no. Uh, well, uh, from there, I'm just gonna back off to over here. <laughs> so he's not in my line. So I'm not in his line of sight. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge right up in front of him right here. And this can be a series of uh, also non lethal strikes. Why All right. Why don't you go to sleep? Hit. <laughs> he <laughs> <laughs> <It> trips. <laughs> you miss. Hit. That hit. Okay. All right, and third attack. Hits. Also non-lethal. All right, still up. Okay, that's, uh, I'll hit the button there. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. <laughs> <laughs> like a good old fashioned beat down at this point. <laughs> Eyes out, Umbra, please. This is not just a feud. I'm actually asking you. It's hard for me to cast spells if you can't see. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Just gonna knock him on the <laughs> uh, Am I flanking with Zamrakar or no? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be a normal hit without um, sneak attack, I guess, because I can't really get. Well, no, it is because uh, their allies are next to him. Never mind. But this is gonna be a normal to hit. Mm -hmm. Twenty-six to hit. Non-lethally bonk. <laughs> Non-lethal bonk. <laughs> and you watch as the polymorph. Uh, Goes away. Fucking oh. hell. <laughs> As uh, it appears, it is just a normal cultist. Fuck. Does it? Are, does his clothing look the same? Nope. No. Oh. He's <laughs> 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 a rapier in his neck. <laughs> no. Could have asked him where he was. Why was he pretending in the first place? What's the gain from that? Distract us. Distraction. To stall. So, okay. Unfortunately, to use spells, counter spells. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, uh, so his entire purpose was to try to get lead you guys to the main chamber. Ah. Uh, no, it was supposed no. to be a chase scene, but he failed his chase scene. His chase, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's us, and we don't allow that shit. <laughs> hey, come over here. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Well. Does he have anything else on time. him? <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I investigate. Uh. Mm -hmm. Um. We're rolling low below. Uh. You definitely find Fletch's spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> He has a uh, necklace which is uh, emanating uh, magic currently that goes dormant as soon as the the uh, guy goes uh, unconscious. Okay, I pull it off his his neck, toss it to Savelle. We'll, we'll have to identify that later. She kicks him in the nut. I say uh, all away. form of magic from it has dissipated as soon as he goes unconscious. Also, oh, it's a one-time use thing. Hmm. Uh, I will hmm. tell you, without uh, the identification, it was an amulet of control. Oh, she so had a remote proxy. Mm -hmm. mm. Great. <laughs> this fucker just substitution of just us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he knows exactly what we're about. You okay, Umbra? Are you okay? You know you didn't have to do that. I'm not going to let you take all the damage. Yeah, well, it's okay. Unfortunately, the second one hit harder than the first one. Because I got to tank to that shit pretty well. She'll take a deep breath in again and breathe out. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got to roll higher than that. The D10 the second time. Um, oh well. It still helps. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hands you a potion. Thank you. I'll save it. Um, actually, it might be better topping off right now. How much am I missing? The potion is what, 2d4 plus 2? It was a standard, so I think it's a is a standard one. <laughs> it's uh, it's all I never can I can never fucking remember that shit. Yeah, because uh, it's resetting uh, the ones I have in here. So where is potion? There it is. Yeah, 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Yeah, and then it goes... Multiplies by 2 every time it goes higher. Yeah, it's probably best to actually make sure we're topped off as much as possible. Survive up 1 HP or something like that. Why does it keep doing that? Yay! 100% health. Do you want to see what 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 uh, what that individual had on him? Yeah, that's what the yeah. uh, other or the investigation was. All right, roll me a d12. Okay. One second. Let me turn order things in my way. Three. All right. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, you find the. The uh, used up amulet, a uh, short sword, and seven gold pieces. Alright. Remember, we'll just put I that did. in her pocket, I guess. I take it the proper way to go is to the right. Uh, I set off a trap earlier that was leading that way. So that's the way they don't want us to go. That's the way they're leading you. It might be an ambush. We can assume it's an ambush. Wherever we go. Do you, uh, do you still feel like you want to investigate first? Uh, where's that? And then Fletch never got a chance Oof. to look at what that side is. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to burn one of those... Skip the Lux. <laughs> I hate when it always puts it at max size. Yeah. 
Wait, what the hell is this? Three dimension? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to uh, add to the atmosphere by decorating the room real quick. <laughs> Since it says it's supposed to have all these furniture and stuff in there, I'm throwing furniture in. Yeah, casting it. I guess before we go in and I see Fletch just like with it. <laughs> so. I'm not gonna say she quite whiffed it. I'm gonna role play this because it's something I've been starting mean uh, meaning to do. Okay, go for um, it. Like every once in a while, you kind of see like a breeze kind of like flow around her, but there's no wind. Um, but right now, you're actually kind of hearing like crackles and thunder kind of emanate mm -hmm. uh, from her, and her skin is slight, just ever so slightly, like has a blue tint to it, but. She's just kind of extremely angry, and uh, she cannot help the sounds of thunder. That's kind of yeah around so her like, right now. <laughs> she, Penumbra will go to and just like before she stealths, um, uh, it's like grab you by like you know the face, eyes to eyes, and says like, "You need to calm down. We need. I need your mind in the right place." Oh, mine's. 100% in the right place. She shakes her head. The death of them. Oops. This is, no, it's not. Focusing on putting them in their grave is not the right spot right now. Um. She'll, uh, in your head, she'll say, you know, uh, I, I know what it's like to, to be blinded by anger and revenge. Don't let it cloud your judgment. You'll continue we, breathing. We will, we will get them. She just kind of like loosens her grip a little bit on her bow, but she doesn't like move from that spot for a little while. She'll uh, then put her forehead against your forehead and then um, uh, then she'll let go and then she'll stealth in. You'll take a really deep breath and a really long breath out, and she'll try to stealth for it. Um, looking for traps <laughs> as I walk in. <laughs> uh, that'll be investigation, not perception. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 19 investigation. Do I see anything? Any other traps? <laughs> You see the uh, burnt ground and the remains of a uh, of a runic uh, symbol of the glyph of warding that has already gone off. All right. Uh, and then I guess I'll use that perception for what's in this room or like the rest of this room, because I don't think uh, Fletch told me what she saw. All right. So it appears to be a lush living space. Uh, in this rough walled cavern, uh, decorating it with uh, select art and craftworks, uh, confiscated from the raids. You see rich carpets and tapestries cover the floor and walls of this cavern, which feature a hewn log bed, a large mirror, and a trunk. Following up behind Umbra, does any of this stuff look familiar? It uh, from what you saw earlier. I take it I briefly saw a little bit and then mm -hmm. acid exploded in my yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> or after like, the acid exploded, yeah. you looked, you know, did that whole perception in here. It was okay. more like you you peeked around the corner, started looking, all of a sudden you hear a and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm. You have to reclaim the stuff. Uh, but number will check the chest. Make sure it's not trapped. Yep. Before I take a step closer. I, sm I smell the trap. Nice. <laughs> I'd say uh, it was a DC 18. It is trapped. All right. Uh, I try to disarm the trap. Okay. Uh, question with a uh, sleight of hand uh, lower mm -hmm. than. So the question is, uh, is the DC lower than a 23? Rogue uh, <laughs> so? So then, uh, do I need to bother to roll because uh, the lowest I can roll on a sleight of hand is a twenty-three? Or is a twenty-three? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say no then. Yeah. So I'm just... <laughs> Without any hesitation, just done. <laughs> so, uh, upon. Uh... Like investigating around the uh, trap and stuff, you kind of put your tools in there, and you see your tools catch like a little tiny uh, contraption that would have uh, put a poison needle. It would have put uh, stabbed anyone whose uh, hand were, was trying to uh, open the box, and you just kind of uh, bend the needle out of place. All right, um, and then I look at the chest itself. Uh, it, is it? I try to open it, basically. Does it open, or is it locked? Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh, chest is locked. Okay. Uh, if this thing does have the mask, I'm trying to remember like how the other chest worked, like from the other time we found a mask like this. Like, if we try to open this, um, like, would the mask immediately teleport, or is it just there? It, it wasn't because the chest was open, it was because we killed him. We killed him, yeah. So I'm before. trying to remember what happened when we opened the chest. It was just not there, basically, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I looked at Fletch and was like, um, should I open it? Like, just a quick, like, you know, confirmation, I guess. My knowledge be didn't kill. It's all right. We know who's behind it or who we have to capture. Maybe it's still in there because he's still alive. Yeah. All right. So you're going to try to open it? Yep. All right. You uh, open it, and uh, according to this, there's nothing inside because the only purpose was the trap. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts an empty ass chest with a trap on it and doesn't have anything in the chest? <laughs> <laughs> he is the dirtiest of bitches. God. It's like, it was so pointless, okay. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you go. didn't discover the trap, it does one piercing damage and uh, the character is uh, subject to an unusual poison and must ex uh, attempt a D6, uh, DC 16 uh, constitution save. God. On success, the affected area, usually hand uh, the hand struck by the needle, becomes numb in 30 minutes, then becomes transparent one hour later. After two hours, the affected area painfully returns to normal as the victim takes 27, which is 68 uh, poison damage. If the saving throw is failed, the uh, effect above still happens, but the D the damage increases to 12 D8 poison damage. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh. On a success, you will take damage. Like... <laughs> <laughs> is... little pissed Nasty. off and petty he'll just go <laughs> ruffle his bed and i'll make it and leave <laughs> <laughs> actually she will return uh she will shoot one book and hopefully it will come over and then <laughs> then leave 
Okay. <laughs> uh, so nothing else in there? Yeah, I guess with uh, I guess I'll do one final look just in uh, as we're leaving, just to see if I notice anything. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you feel a breeze. I have tell Fletch. Where where am I? I'm assuming behind the tapestry. Yep. I mean, yep. You missed the breeze. <laughs> Can't believe. I guess I am unfocused. Go, go tell the others. Comes around. There's a breeze over here, guys. Possibly a hidden entrance or something. Gee, why oh. why were they trying to get uh, have you chase into that room only for it to be a dead end? Yeah, <laughs> with with an empty fucking um. chest with a deadly poison. <laughs> I know my health is at 99, but how small it is, it looks like it says GG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Zammer cars complaining about how small 99 is. <laughs> Flesh max HP, the second most in the party is 99. <laughs> um, just... He's tempted to burn his bed. Just in case it's trapped, check it. Flip it. If it's not, bop it. Twist <laughs> <laughs> it. Pull it. Shoot it. Say, but better. Stab it. Shake it. <laughs> Twist. <laughs> Assemble so, it. It did not give a DC for Thanks. any of it. It's just simply if you notice and decide to check behind it, you might have passed Burn it. it. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I go inside. Hey, Death the lead. lead. Yep. So inside, do you find the, that there is a secret uh, room behind the uh, tapestry? There is a small shrine to the elven god of outcasts, scapegoats, and solitude known as Femoral Mesterine. Hey, I'm just going to post that. For a second, there, I was like, a shrine to Tiamat. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I look to Zamarkar. I know how much you like hitting shrines, but please not this one. Also present wow. is a journal. A what? A journal. A journal. Oh. Yeah, pick up the journal. Look for a trap. So I take it. Yep. 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 Uh, I, I'll say that one's for the room itself, and then this one's for uh, the journal. All right. The journal uh, reveals uh, Nerevane's relationship to King Melandrock, whom uh, Nerevane refers to frequently as my poor father. The journal also reveals that the green dragon mask is already at the Well of Dragons under Severance protection. Yes. Ready to be assembled into the Mask of the Dragon Queen. Well, Fletch, I have oh, some good fucker. news for you. You get to kill this fucker anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, you have, we have good news and bad news. Bad news is the mask is already there at the Well of Dragons. Good news is that means you get to kill this fuck. <laughs> We'd be assembled there. We need to try to at least get one. And that's all the worm speakers have already given them over. But that's a problem for future us. For the more present us, a traitor needs to fucking die. I'll put the book in the bag. Just in case it has any other information. Uh, what was his name again? Bitch. <laughs> Neuron Vein? <laughs> Bitch Theron Vein, gotcha. <laughs> Neuron Vein is Elvis for bitch. <laughs> bitch is the common tongue. 
narrow veiny dick. Venture. <laughs> We're not here for jokes. <laughs> I was not even that's out of character joke. <laughs> Okay. Is there anything? Is this just a hidden alcove or? Uh, Doesn't lead I, anywhere else. It's kind of like I've already, I guess I've kind of already looked. Doesn't seem like anything else. What the hell else. is that flunky trying to lure us back in here for? No idea. Do you really want to hear us? Uh, Maybe his it's... journal, <laughs> his daddy issues. It was it was probably still to delay us, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> He'll come you're back. Not gonna, you're not even gonna check the, check the uh, for a secret door. I mean, that's what oh, the 15 investigation was for. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> yeah, the yeah. 15 investigation was for the room. The 21 investigation <laughs> was for. Uh, Secret door. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Never mind. Uh... <laughs> I think the DM really wants to find that door. Well, yeah, because then we would have been fucking around in the other room. <laughs> I say, th then you would have just backtracked and gone around. It's like, no, you're supposed to go that way, damn yeah. it. She's about to come back over here. She turns over the table and it nah, comes back fuck in. the door. <laughs> All right, so I assume you go through the secret door. Yep. I forgot this is at the advantage because quiet feet. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> so the token I'm currently using, ignore the fact that I'm using a blue dragon token when it should be a green dragon token. Oh, <laughs> oh, we should. oh well, I like that he's chilling. <laughs> I like, I, I feel up. flesh cut behind me and I just like back it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So was he asleep? Oh, cool. <laughs> this is more to di dictate the uh, location of the actual like tre treasure hoard. <laughs> right before we head in, she will expend. How many charges is it? Three. Oh, what? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three. <clears throat> yeah, she will expend three charges to make sure she casts her swift quiver right before we go in. <laughs> fucking gift. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Um Alright. So here's the actual green dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, uh. Oh, God, it's got bigger. I was gonna say, I gotta make it the right size there. Actually, sorry. Really uh, twerking. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Nirvain? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Nirvain was a bard. <laughs> oh, God. And, uh, you've always been riding me. Well, let me ride you for a change. <laughs> What the fuck did I just walk into? <laughs> no, not bad, dragon. Ew. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> the wizard just <laughs> whipping him. Slut! 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 Um, actually, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I will actually activate my hill rune first and then this was quiver um, before headed in. Uh, hill rune does that. I was gonna say, okay, if anyone wants to do some prepare shit, yeah, <laughs> do it now. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing two things. First, um, uh, first off, mage armor on myself. Second, uh, I got two spells that I could cast on Zemrakar. I could either do an enhance ability or I could do a fly. Fly. <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah, That's my last third fly. level spell. That's my last third level spell slot. So get me the just... fuck out of his breath range. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up to you and be like, "For you, big Zem." Pat him on the back. Cast fly. That's my last third level spell slot. <laughs> uh, so those are bonus I... actions. 
Yeah. I uh, I just start floating like I'm in space for a second before yep. I get a hold of it. Hope you like the scores, big guy. Oh, I could have also done. I could have done this more uh, dramatic and made the dragon come out of the water because it's a green dragon and they're uh, amphibious. Oh. I mean, yeah, that works. Like, I oh. literally see it, like, come out of the water and he calls to him or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, back it up, back it up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you guys in here? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we are going all out for this fight. I'm uh, changing so, uh, number to an arcane trickster so I could get spells, so I could add gifts to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I should do fly, that for myself too. Do I only have 30 feet of fly speed, or is it my it's 60 walking feet. speed? So you have. Ah, I don't I'm know a, if they stack fast actually. Boy. That's a that's a good question. I don't know if it's 30 and then plus it's, 60 feet, feet of fly. No. Okay, it's you only get the 60. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, sixty feet of fly. Yeah, you have your your ground speed still stays the, the same, so you still have. So if you feet. choose to walk, well, yeah. No, I got gotcha. you. I was just just wondering, because I didn't know. I thought that it was going to be thirty feet at first, but sixty feet is better than forty. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, before we get uh, started with combat, I do need to use the restroom, so I'm going to go ahead and just say we'll take like a ten minute break. Sounds good. Sounds good. Right. Good. good. All right. Cool plan. What I forgot to do I right before, you you have to remind me before we take short rest if I have any spell slots left to make sure to use it on someone. As Fletch okay. would definitely do that for Umbra first. Oh, uh, for what spells? I guess. Yeah. Be right back. Um, mainly to cast uh, Gift of Luck. On. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I think as long as we have uh, the darkness up, I, I'll get at least advantage with hiding within the the darkness and then coming out. Well, it's not just uh, attack rolls or anything like that. It's, it's just in general. 20 rolls. Uh, oh, and right. mainly she will be thinking about, you know, saves. Mm -hmm. So That's fair. Because yeah. um, uh, for Savelle, what's his two... Uh, what was his two dices for the day? Because I think we really... I know he has an 18. Um, right? It was an 18 and a 6, and I already burned the 18. Okay. You so burned the 18? He... Oh! I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Save it. I had to to save Zamacar. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no, saying, she, I'm trying to remember the what, what that was used on. Yeah, it Wait, was, you um, healed me? No, it wasn't a, it wasn't a heal. It was um, in the forest when you got ganged up by a bunch of those. Oh, right. Spiders. Some spiders and, that, and one was going to do like enough damage to fucking kill you, so I had to... Well, Wait, oh, did I burn the six? Yeah. I think you burned yeah, the six. Yeah, yeah, burn the six. Yeah, yeah. you forced Let's them to do the six to miss yeah. the attack. Yeah, because I I know yeah. you've been saving the eighteen for a while. So I know. Really, so we have a natural eighteen uh, through Seville. It's it's so good, but at the same time, it's like man, I want the natural twenty. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah. kind of hard to say when you're going to get a natural 20 because I still have the one arrow dragon, uh, arrow dragon slaying, dragon thing. Mm. I don't know. Mm. But she's going to try to hold on to it as best as possible. Yeah. Uh, um. Until it looks like it's about to, you know, bitch out. Because I. Th even oh, if the dragon bitches out, I, I think as long as we kill Nerovain, that's kind no, of the biggest. To kill the dragon too. Oh no, we, I'm I'm down with killing the dragon. I'm just saying mm -hmm. I think we should prioritize uh, killing uh, Nerovain no matter what. Yeah, we can definitely try to kill him, but Fletch has a personal grudge against this dragon. Oh, gotcha. It's the one that actually help slaughter her family oh okay so yeah um in that case yeah so then the number would probably also go for it as well 
It's possible Nerevane had something to do with it. True. To do with it. Who knows how long he's been holding. Uh, I mean, we'll, we could find out when so we uh, read his journal a little bit more after we murder him. <laughs> he's like sitting there choking. <laughs> What is the door slit? <laughs> oh no, you put right here. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he almost failed his death saves. Let's stabilize him. <laughs> and then slice his throat again. Someone was going to ask Kenny last time. Can't find it on the character sheet. This had something to do with the, um, the like custom background, the order of scribes thing. That it, it seemed broken. Um, but I just wanted to be sure. Of you, huh? If everything is broken, oh, then that? it's balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Well, in either case, we're ready to fight a fucking dragon. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. I got one more buff, but <laughs> we're good. He's always reaction heavy anyway. Actually, let me cast mirror image on myself real quick before we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as right. we're all prepping our shit, it's like, uh, I kind of mentioned, is like, we need to make sure we need to block this, this pathway from, from this dragon escaping. So either the flying Zamrakard <laughs> gets in its way and at least takes a couple swings before it tries to leave. Are you talking about the water or the other one? The water. Because, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, because the Penumbra saw it leap, like, come from the water, right? No, yeah, that was yeah. just, yeah. Yeah, so then, mm -hmm. um, and then I don't know if there was anything past this point, but we'll have to see. So I'm assuming this is the only, uh, exit for it. Do we focus right, the elf or the dragon? I know Fletch wants to focus the dragon. <laughs> she wants to focus both. She yeah. wants both of them dead. Yeah. It, yeah. But in this fight, it's we need to focus one down before the other. Um, I say... Nervain or dragon? I agree with the dragon because that thing has more movement and can get out of there. If Nervain wants to teleport somewhere, he's going to have to see where the fuck he's going unless he has a dimension door. <laughs> And then we have uh, counter spell. At least uh, I don't know how many counter spells do you have left, Zane. Just in case, like, what's your highest counter spell? Fifth. Uh, sixth. Sixth. Okay. I so have... yeah. So I'm out of level threes, but I got two level fours, one level five, and one level six. Okay. So yeah, uh, literally keep those at least uh, one of those for a counter spell in case he tries to like he tries to escape. I'll, yeah, I'll save my sixth level for that because my fifth level is whole monster that might be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless if you want me to disintegrate this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he took disintegrate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I mean, if that, that's all that feels like a last have, resort thing. Like if we're really. I don't fucked. have to prepare. I don't have to say great prepared, I have chain lightning. Oh, okay, okay, there we go, okay. Actually, chain lightning would be pretty good on this, because it's just going to chain between the two of them, isn't it? Yeah, okay, maybe <laughs> That's I'll... That's actually pretty crazy. I'll save my... Maybe I'll save my fifth level, then. Yeah, I don't remember what level Dimension Door is at. But, um... Uh, I guess I'm ready if everyone is. Let's do this. Let's go. Right. So let's go ahead and get some initiatives going. Uh, someone did not start the token. Fetch. Oh fuck, did I not? Shit, I thought I did. I'll just take the 17. 
I knew it. My initiative has been going downhill. <laughs> I was at 16, then a 14, now a 10. I get below five like every time my initiative is so weird. That's okay. The dragon rolled a four. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's that's still higher than me. Right, and I also need to. Uh, I also need to add a custom initiative here real quick. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta move my food out. Uh, away from my keyboard so I can actually type. Um, also, as a reminder, uh, we have advantage on the fear because of the... Not um, an advantage. Uh, oh, go ahead. Is it is it advantage or is it uh, a it's like immunity? immunity? Yeah, as long oh, as okay. you're within the range of me, you're immune. Oh, no, well, that, for no, the, necklace. uh, the necklaces well, that we got from. Yeah, yeah for, for your thing, yes, if we're next to you, oh. that's true, but uh, <laughs> we yeah. don't want to be all together for a dragon breath. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, I, guess, I think they have combs. So yeah, I yeah. wonder um, if we do, if someone does fail the fear, we can just go towards Renford and at least get the plus three or plus... Uh, the thing and then i wonder if that also removes fear entirely it, does, it doesn't matter considering the uh the uh necklaces Necklace. automatically succeed, succeed? at saving okay, throws yeah. gotcha okay nice. I, I couldn't remember if it was a instant succession or advantage yeah it was an instant no success uh, which uh Renfrew, i'm scared no you're not <laughs> which for what <laughs> you guys don't know uh means that he can't use it again because uh you're immune to the effect for 24 hours yep <laughs> so yeah he he doesn't know that until you know he does it <laughs> and then we're just like lol but <laughs> yeah it's like roars in your face <laughs> and you just stare yeah it, it's spongebob <laughs> me where like it screams at him and he just like looks unimpressed the dragon <laughs> first dragon first okay Dragon first. Good. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I say layer action is not trigger at the first round, but just so you know, it's there. Mm -hmm. So first up on there is Penumbra. Okay. Uh... I think it's them. I'm trying to think if I... So this door is based, or it's like cracked open kind of thing. I say, unless you like tried to shut it as soon as you saw the dragon. <laughs> I like, I, I would, I would have stealthily like, just, you know, cracked it open just to look and then saw all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this time it's just like, uh, um, stealthily I'm just gonna like put the crossbow through the door <laughs> and then just shoot this thing, shoot the dragon with an assassinate. Um. Let's see, advantage because it doesn't know I'm there. Uh, this is gonna be a crit if it uh, hits. You got and... this. Oh, yes, oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> that an was actual a, natural that 20. Was an actual natural 20, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. With the lightning damage as well, so um, it's gonna. Oh, those were good. Sneak attack dice, too, on the first one. Eight. That's a total and then how much? kind of meh. <laughs> Um, 29, 16, so 35, 45, and then... 71. 71, yeah. Alright. Uh, then I'm going to move back and fucking hide. <laughs> <laughs> so it just takes the, the arrow and it immediately looks pissed. Yep. And that's, uh, that's my turn. Uh, 
Ah, uh, well, my dear, looks like our guests have arrived. Stop twerking, stop twerking. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting the fight, fighting game style moving. <laughs> 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 No, uh, assuming you just shot from the uh, door, I assume the door is open. It wasn't wide open. <laughs> I just like kind of poked the crossbow out and then shot and then went back in. <laughs> I didn't like. Well, I didn't kick it down and swing it. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't like take an action close to close it. it. Yeah, I didn't close so, it. So gas goes in. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Fire. Yeah, fifty feet. Uh, twenty foot. So. It's like everyone. Is it everyone? All right. AOE damage, yeah. boys. Uh, uh, it's I'm, I'm running out of. Space. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, you you can't see him. Or, or you kind of. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Shit. you need to see him. Yeah. Bookie's not in there to to see him yet. So we're taking this basically. All right. <laughs> uh, luckily, we're next to Rent because is this uh, straight damage or is it a it's a safe? So at least we're next to Rent for through the bonus. Yeah, I don't remember which ward that was. Yeah, they're yeah. For it doesn't deal damage, it just poisons you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. So then we just have to save this shit. You get a bonus on the save, though. I'm just yeah. Yeah. What is your bonus? Plus. Let me pull it up again. Okay. Is it plus three? Is it plus four or something? Oh, that's right. I mean, it's it's a Warcaster. Uh, Fuck yeah. Okay. I get advantage on these. Well, not on that. It's not a card save, isn't it? Well, uh, Constitution, yeah, yeah, as long as you take to remain uh, concentration is Warcaster. Yeah, it's um, yeah. not straight constitutions. It's just concentration. Oh, it's just it's just a long. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so it's a plus four. Yep. That poison is gonna suck ass. Well, the modifier. I'm actually just gonna put that on my sheet. Your. Oof. Your oh save. my god. Well. No, luckily for Savelle, he doesn't need that shit. <laughs> Was it at the start? Is that the start of the turn, right? Or is it... The, the... poison? Yeah, or is it um, right now? It's just the poison effect, so that means uh, okay. disadvantage on attack rolls and stuff like that, but it doesn't mean jack shit to Savelle, because he does AoE crap. Well, actually, no, he's right. Uh, the spell does say each creature that starts its turn within the gas must succeed oh. at a con save. Gotcha. Sorry. So I guess these are our roles when we when it's our turns. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I got a thirty-one technically. Yeah. <laughs> I got a twenty-four. It's like it sucks up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Some good acid. <laughs> Does that not affect you at all? Good then? trip. It's like, it affects just like uh like or does it just like ale? This is all it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> a little salty. I take a big deep breath in and just belch it out. Mm, <laughs> I'm used to getting poison. You <laughs> all coughing in the background. <laughs> all right, that's his turn. So we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so uh, I let you to... didn't roll your save yet. Looks like. Oh yep. Is it starting my turn? Uh, I get advantage on it because, you know, fighter bullshit of a uh, hill rune. Uh, because of that, passively. So Constitution advantage. 16? Uh, I think you literally just met it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that would have been <laughs> absolutely awful for Fletch if she got poisoned. Disadvantage yeah, on baby. all attack rolls? Fuck that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Good job. Um, I have to get here to at least shoot. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be in a room by myself for a little bit. Um, but concentrating on... Dragon. The DM's like, cowards! 
<laughs> Get out here and fight me! <laughs> Concentrating on the dragon, Elven Longbow, uh, Genie's Wrath. We are not sharpshooter. And who are you targeting? The dragon. All right. We are trying to fuck up the dragon. Does 17 hit him? Actually, yeah, what buffs uh, did the prayer get as well? I know Renford for sure got it. I don't know if I got it or if the goddess just spit on me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't know yet. <laughs> well, okay. okay. Well, um, it has not affected you yet. <laughs> awesome. Uh, does the seventeen hit? No, it does not. Okay. His, his prayers are on dial-up internet. <laughs> <laughs> Second attack. Fuck you, dragon. Oh. Oh. You, you you see you see a little uh, dialogue uh, floating next to you buffering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, well, uh, yeah, that definitely hits. <laughs> Sixteen. Let's see if you have a tree growing out of you right now. Nope. No, it's one of five. Uh, and bonus action for Swift Quivers. Two more shots. Fuck this right. dragon. Oh my god! So fuck this dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Does not like this dragon right now. Alright. Good to know. Uh, he's not grappled yet. Uh, one more. And let's say fuck this dragon some more. Oh my god, it was uh, almost. Close. It was fucking <laughs> almost. Close. Really close. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Fuck this dragon. That been nuts. <laughs> it's not looking happy for sure. And still <laughs> not grappled. Unless you move 10, 10 feet back. And that's her turn. All right. Fly, my bison. <laughs> <laughs> I pissed it off. Red Bull will give you wings. It knows a little bit of how to feel right now. Yeah, let's see if I can get to it first. Nah, I'm gonna have to dash. All right, well. No, so I'm gonna hit this person first. God, that'd be a <laughs> fucking terrifying sight to see. <laughs> yeah. My Minotaur. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, <laughs> oh the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just out of the green smoke, just. Yeah. You made me fly, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> like the like fucking caretakers from Dark City just flying at you. Alright. Rage, great weapon bastard, reckless attack. Let's fuck her yes. up. him up. Yes. Him up. Us. Alright. Uh, 16 hit? He just appeared with is... The elf? Nah, that's puny. I say he's got a armor class of uh, 17, so that misses. All right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I will hit again. Oof. God damn it. <laughs> and you miss. You're all just right, well, getting used to the flying, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you kind of swing your, your you kind of swing your large sword, and because you're flying, the sword is really heavy, and you just kind of do a flip in midair. <laughs> okay, that, that'll be my turn. All right. Okay, so I'm starting my turn in this, and I rolled a four. So poison. You are uh, poisoned. Let me double check the poison condition. Got disadvantage from like attacks and mm -hmm. ability checks. I go up in the last one, just, ability checks. Just double checking just to be sure. Probably just go ahead and cure the poison off my turn. Nah, don't waste the, the five points right now. 
I don't think he had many direct attack spells. Yeah, so right? that's, yeah it doesn't really matter on Savelle, but um, uh, Poison Creature has a disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. So yeah, it's literally just attack rolls for him because ability checks are uh, like, you know, skill checks and shit. Yeah, you're not okay. trying to flip in combat and stuff. So yeah, so... Yeah, does it, so that, that doesn't... In, so, what, so what does that include? It Does just include literally includes like firebolt. So anything with an attack roll has disadvantage. Anything with a uh, a saving throw, it doesn't affect it at all. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So. So you're. I guess you're, if I'm already poisoned, there's no real reason to tr attempt to try to get out of this. Uh, it, right? it, it goes away at the beginning of his turn. So it was the poison cloud thing that we're in. Okay. So cool. yeah. So it basically lasts a round. Yeah. Okay, so uh I'm here and then move bookie thirty feet from me. I'll put him there. And uh let's do if you had well, I didn't know. I thought your mouse was here. Like one down, but you're you're good. Oh, okay. Um uh, meteors will wall of fire, meteors will wall of fire. Uh, I remember probably... remember that fly is a concentration. Right, so, so I can't you can, do you can't do concentration shit, basically. Yeah. Um, or I'll drop the fly. Yeah. Oh fuck, like half my shit's concentration. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it do be like that though. <laughs> ah, okay. Um Do I go ahead and bust out the big guns then? <laughs> this is now now the time to do it, my guy. <laughs> yep, alright. We're casting chain lightning. Let's fucking go. Um, the dragon. <laughs> so just make right. sure it doesn't bounce or do anything, Zamrakar. Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure before I cast it. Um, as many as the uh, lightning bolt that arcs towards the target of your choice, see within range, three bolts leap to the target, and then two as many as three other targets. Uh, it's, uh, yada yada no. yada. All right, so is there a save for it? I know, I know. Um, is it Dex? Yeah, here, hang on. And your spell save DC is 15, though. Oh, 16. Yeah. So, what? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so, on 10D. Yep, um, so that's, uh, so I'm casting on the dragon, so target needs to make a, yeah, deck save 16, and... Wonder where it does it. Okay. Well, uh, you, I caused it to use one of its legendary resistances to succeed. Nice. Okay. Cool, and then I believe because they rolled a nat one on its dex check. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I then. shot you in the knees with those two twenties. <laughs> and then there's the man. Yeah, I think the man also has to. Yeah, because it it changed to uh, to another yep. creature. So let's see on a success. Is it like half or what is the? I'm assuming. Yeah, it's half. You've also yep. leap, then leap from the target to as many as three other targets. Each one must have 30 for a creature target. Which is. <laughs> so he needs a deck save as well. Yep. He does not have the benefits of uh, legendary oh, resistance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sucks to suck, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He takes, yep, 47 lightning. <laughs> 47 to a wizard. Nice. Jeez. Yeah, that definitely hurt. All right, and uh, what's ha what's half of 47? Br brain, come on. 24. <laughs> 23. 23, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. End your turn? Yep, I will end my turn there. All right. Dragon's turn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, 55, 60. Yep. I was like, this is oh, do suck. I get an opportunity to attack? 
that flew over you. Aw, oh, dick. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, in no, I, yeah. I'm in midair. I, I, I did say I was floating above the elf. Yeah. So how far did this thing fly up to get there? <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna have to use some Pythagorean theorem bullshit? <laughs> 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 the, tra the trajectory. I was gonna say it's got an 80 foot fly speed. It only used 55 of that of of its 80 feet. So technically, yeah, it's a point of T. It, it's a pussy dragon. Is what say, it is. It used all of its movement just to avoid Zamrakar. <laughs> it's all good. That's amazing. And poison breath. Yep, yep. I saw that coming. All right. All right so, all right. con saves. How does that work with? mirror image or does that it doesn't oh no wait yeah okay <laughs> that's right that's right um at least uh, the mirror images don't go away but uh poison breath yep. yep. renford or what's that uh 20 so right. 15 or no i guess 12 because <sighs> fire damage all right so far, Fletch is the only one who succeeded. Renford succeeded. So two success, two fail. All right, I need to roll 16d6. Uh, <laughs> pardon? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? what? <laughs> All right, so, so whoever succeeded takes half of that. Uh, calculator. Uh, 27. 27. 27 divided by 2 because I'm resistant to poison. Divided um, by 2 because I'm resistant to poison, so I take 27. Uh, let me check something real fast. And breath does not count as spell attack, right? Nope. nope. Okay. <laughs> Uh, DM, can you tell me if I can use uncanny dodge on this? Like, it, it says within with an attack, but I don't know if that's an attack, a roll, or just attack in general. Yep. Attack in general. Oh, so I can uncanny dodge this as well. Uh, I believe you have a limit on how many you uh, you can it's a reaction. Dodge. It's my reaction. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm using my reaction to uncanny dodge that, so it's... Because I'm also okay. resistant to poison. <laughs> I take 27, so gonna... and then I uncanny dodge and reduce it by half again. So what's half of 27? Uh, 13. So I take 13 okay. damage. Alright. Yeah. Savelle needs to get the fuck out. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, this is the second time it's happened. Oh am I god, my... I just saw his health. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, uh, I think Fly is gone because the concentration is... No, I work... What, you can I try. Have... Well, you have advantage on your... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you you have right, I do have advantage. Okay. Yeah. 20. So, con save and beat a 27. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is it possible for you? Well, actually, uh... yes, it is with Renford or... Oh, yeah, because Renford right. adds the... I get a plus four. Yeah. Okay, yep. so, so just to just to clarify, because I fucked this up like five times, because I'm trying to maintain concentration, I get, I do the saving throw with advantage plus yep. a plus four with rank. Yep, yep, yes. and then, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's just got to be very difficult because it's a twenty-seven DC. Yeah. Here we go. Fuck. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Like when, when we were just taking too long, we were just a click of a button. It was going to be like really low. Just had a hit with it. Yeah, uh, right. flies gone on him. So, so Zamrakar, it... all of a sudden the gravity is back and you start plummeting. Does the axe take another swipe on him though? Uh, how far <laughs> up did uh, you say you were, Zamrakar? I just said I was floating above her. I never specifically so like, said. Yeah, you'd have to have been in range and for so him like to. Uh, five feet five feet above him yeah yeah I, I would at least say like my full body length like i'm at least above her head his head i don't know why i keep calling him a girl yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I would say that's not enough to uh deal any damage but you do suddenly feel like gravity as you as you and your sword hit the ground <laughs> i 
unfortunately now we're separated from this dragon is literally in our fucking way. <laughs> yeah. How mean of a DM yeah. do I want to be? Should I make him do a uh, dexterity uh, check to see uh, if he falls prone when the gravity suddenly uh, uh. see if he can uh, acrobatics to uh, get on his feet? <laughs> well, I rolled an eight. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to roll a straight d20 and uh, hope that I beat it uh, lower than an 8. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter either way because this guy's going to get advantage on him anyways because Zamakar reckless. I rolled exactly an 8. Well. <laughs> well. So you are on your feet. Hey. Yay. Nice. <laughs> That's the landing. <laughs> so now we really have to emphasize on taking down this dragon first because it's yeah. in our faces. I guess, can it reach us with its claw attacks or anything? Because it's like, it's just yeah, literally it's a door. Yeah. Okay, so. I was gonna say, uh, I believe the door is smaller than its mouth, so it's like it can't get its bite in there, but it might be able to like try to put a claw through there or something. Yeah, would that be disadvantage if it tried, considering it can't necessarily like, see? <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah, swiping like, randomly. You gotta peek in first and then like, oh. you know. <laughs> Put his arm in. Yeah, shove his arm in and <laughs> claw it, whatever. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, move forward a little bit. I think now would be a good time to lay on hands on Zavell. There you go. Uh, and as it so happens, I have exactly 55, so I'm just gonna put you right at full cap. And you're, no, right. you're no longer poisoned, I guess. Like, is that how that works? I thought I'd spend five to. Yeah, but do that. Uh, as long as it's at least five. So, consider yeah, you're five, yeah. putting full 55 on him, uh, you know, removes poison. Hurts, Hopefully, you have more healing spells just in case anyone goes down. I do. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because um, that was five to go forward. So, I want to charge in, but like with those breath attacks, you can't. Just makes... You what can't get there. I said, well, you can get at least to the door and. You can bonus action swipe. Bonus right? action swipe with your scimitar. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, I think it's a bonus attack. Let me, ch let me check what that says. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's you have to use your action to attack to get the bonus action attack. I or believe it's a, just a bonus I, I, action in general. I believe that. Yeah, I believe it was, that's the way it worked. But, um. Let me check. check. Okay. Yeah. All right, what are you doing? Oh, I was just checking to see if I can attack. Uh, let's see. You may add to bonus roll. In addition, you can make one attack with as a bonus action. Does not specify. Uh, turns. Yeah. yeah. So it I don't doesn't say to... you need to take an attack first. Okay. So yeah. So in that case, I'm going directly in front of the dragon here. Okay. Um. And I, and I already used. Uh, this is the bonus action, so I can't do any smite shit yet, but... It's on you any attack. You're regular smite. Well, I get, yeah, regular smite you can. Well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It, it misses. misses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Anything else? Uh... Oh, it's trying to hit the button. Why is it not letting me hit the button? I'm trying to skip my turn, but it's not letting me hit the right, there's a fucking glare action. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it already, it already moved it to the layer action. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to say you guys are not technically in the layer. Yeah. So I might just skip the action for this turn, this round. I'll just have him fight us in here instead. But <laughs> on the other hand, <laughs> legendary actions. Ah, yes. <laughs> so Dragon is going to take uh, two of its three uh, legendary actions to do a wing attack. So each creature within 10 feet of the dragon must succeed on a DC 19 dex uh, saving throw or take 2d6 plus 6 bludgeoning damage and be knocked prone. Then the dragon can fly up to half its flying speed. <clears throat> Alright, you dragon. Get plus four. I was gonna say, would these, would Fletch and Savelle have advantage because they're like around a corner, or, or like, I get. Well, Fletch is like full cover. Savelle's like almost half. <laughs> yeah, so it. Fletch is good either way. 
actually the only one that would really be affected is Redford by the looks okay. of it. I don't okay. remember if it starts at okay. the edge of the dragon or feet. the center. So is it the center that's uh, 10 feet? In that case, yeah, it would be Fletch and Zavell yeah. would be as well. Yeah, yeah. so All right. at oh. 24. So, so do I need one or? Yeah. 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 Okay. Here we go. So next save. It'll be plus four as well. So you're still within. Right. Yep, so you just over. just made it. Unfortunately, uh, Renford uh, lost by one for an 18. Ah, oh, man. So you are knocked prone. It does not say you're pushed, but you're knocked prone and you take 2d6 plus 6 bludgeoning damage. Okay. 15 bludgeoning damage and are knocked prone. Got it. The dragon is going to fly half of its uh, fly speed, so 40 feet. Over here. You dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Come out, hit cowards! <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that's green, bitch. Uh, am I? Can I move right here? Like, or like behind Renford? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a, I mean, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but yeah. I mean, either way, actually, I could just probably like move. Uh, let me check this. Twenty feet. Uh. <laughs> people be in my ways i should have waited until you're like literally in the room before revealing the dragon so that you oh. get out of there <laughs> <laughs> oh we had all the perception <laughs> Two feet here come out of stealth and uh fire at the dragon this is gonna be vantage just no um i'm gonna final Final tactics this because might as well just go all out on each shot. I should have done it on the first one, but I forgot. Uh, this is still gonna be the lightning one. Lightning damage though. Nineteen to hit. That is exactly its armor class. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, Damn it, it didn't. Okay, so it's. Two... It only changed one of the dice to three, because um, it's. So one, two, so it's 32 for the piercing, or 32 lightning damage, and then. Uh, so 44 damage in total. Okay. And then. Cat's agility to go back. <laughs> okay. And hide action or hide bonus action. Twenty-three. And that'll be my turn. Uh, there it goes. All oh, right. Forgot that there's uh, extra things for this particular dragon uh, that's uh, separate from just the straight uh, character sheet. <laughs> so cool. Right. Because they use just a straight green uh, adult green dragon, but then they tell tell in the uh, module what uh, else it has. So good to know. All right, Niran Vane is going to take uh, two strikes with his uh, short sword at Samarkar. Miss. 
heads. <laughs> okay, well, it's not that. So ignore, ignore the second damage. It's the 8 and the 19. So it's 4 and 19? Because he was raging, right? Uh, he does not uh, subtract the poison, so it's 4, yeah, 4 and 19. Are you, are you raging? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so 4 and 19. Okay. Okay, that is his turn. Um, Bruce says she's looking for a short sword. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's my turn? Nice, nice, nice. Uh... Damn. How is this dragon looking, like, health-wise? Does it look good? As I was gonna say, it is still within the triple digits. It's half its HP, basically. I think we did like 150 damage yeah. at least. I feel like this elf can die fast. Um, but we need to kill this dragon, right? Are we still focusing on this dragon? Uh, do what you think is good, because I mean, Nerovane took a good chunk from that lightning chain. So we can probably we can probably drop him right away and then focus the dragon next, because I doubt we can finish off yeah, the dragon that's, before. Uh, that short sword is going to be a pain to. Yeah, for to Zamrakar. Zamrakar. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that. We can't have that poison damage cutting into him. Uh, okay. Nervain. Can I sharpshooter this bitch down? Uh, his armor class is 17, I believe, so... 15, 5. I will hit 50% of the time if I shoot. Now let's do regular shots near a vein. Oh. Yeah. I don't want Zamrakar dropping and Renfer just hurt, so we need to take care of near a vein. Near a vein shots. Okay. 17 to hit. Just hit. <laughs> uh, 22. Take that off. Second shot. Near a vein. Hits. 20 to hit. Should. Bonus action shots. Fuck you, near a vein. 18 to hit. <laughs> Another shot. Near vein. Oh, Fuck you, near vein. <laughs> Damn, that's your third fucking crit. Jesus Christ. He's fucking ready. Action surge. Fuck you, near vein. <laughs> <laughs> and dead. <laughs> oh, did he uh, die at the 20 war? <laughs> was he adding uh, I, was, I, was still, I was still adding it up, and then it's like. Because uh, I, I was like 11, minus 1. Minus seven, he has five hit points. Oh, look, minus five. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. She's fucking going in right now. Uh, she quickly drops her poison bow at her feet because she can always summon that one. Uh, and she gets the elven grass. Oh, bow. wait a second. I need to add all those poison damages back. Yeah, because I'm assuming he's resistant. No, he's damage immunity poison. Oh, okay. So then he, I guess he heals back okay. the, because he didn't take that damage basically. Yeah. So I need to add the seven, fifteen, uh, seven. twenty-three, eight plus five. So he's back to twenty hit points. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's do well, this. What, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's another 12. Oh my god. All right. Uh, Damn that it. one missed. <laughs> I will use a her her gift of luck. Actually, does gift of luck 
because you can do it afterwards. Let me read this. Because if it gives advantage, then I roll two more dice. Let's see how this does. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Mirror <to> multiply. <laughs> <laughs> you grant a touch. While the spell lasts, a target can choose to gain advantage on any once three rolls have effect. The spell ends. You cast a spell using a spell slot on the third level. Is that like regular luck once you do it, or do you just gain advantage after? Grants touch creature limited gift of luck. While the spell lasts, the target can gain advantage on any three rolls of its choice. Three rolls have been affected by the gift of luck. The spell ends. So. Yeah, you just basically get advantage on it, right? On the, any roll of your choice, so it's, yeah. I'm assuming it's kind of like the luck dice or the luck yeah, feat. So you, so you want to re-roll your 15? Yeah, because if it would have given me advantage, I would actually have an accuracy stuff. Mm -hmm. Two more die. Yeah, uh, so it's two more. Do that, you want to you do that or do you want a guaranteed 18? Uh, no, I'm going to save that guaranteed 18 for the, the dragon, dragon slam yeah. arrow. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Regular advantage. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. He's, wow. he's like, holy he's like, shit. Uh, it's like he, he felt the touch of death, and then all of a sudden, oh no, death returns. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the dice are telling the their fury. own story right now. It's fucking amazing. Fury of all the elves. Fuck with my family. <laughs> uh, she'll use a rain in there, 10 feet right there, and then glare at this fucking dragon. Alright. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Death has come for you, the Emerald Coward. <laughs> right, that's your turn? Yes. Alright. Uh, I, I wish... Uh, Roll twenty maps were three dimensional, so I could actually accurately say like how high something is flying. Yeah, that'd be nice. Too can also just, just put labels on it or player. something. No, oh. <laughs> that too. What's that? Uh, well, that's why Zane used to tell Spire because it's just three D uh, dim or yeah. a three D dimension map and fake actual like figures and shit. Uh, Ambiguity is out the window as far as height goes. But uh, as for like, I, I kind of wish you could also put labels on um, the whatever token and say like, you know, this thing is 30 feet in there. You mean like, oops, hang on. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can? Like this. Oops. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I, guess, yeah. I guess technically on the, on the, um, Where did the, the text names. go? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You guys oh. no longer know his flesh, she's flesh 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Someone fetch Fletch. <laughs> yeah, you should have used all those attacks on the drag because now I have nobody to hit. <laughs> you can move. You got fly on you. No, he doesn't. No, I don't. He no, he doesn't. Prop. Oh, you don't have fly on you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I Poor Zalakar, man. Yeah. We need to get this man boot the boots of flying. I, yeah, I was looking at how much poison damage that sword did to you, and I'm like, I don't want you like going yeah, down. To, to be that fair, tier. yeah, that, that dude lived because Fletch pu pumped a lot of damage into that man. If he lived another round and slapped you with it, that would have been a lot of your health gone. Yeah. And he had uh, the two attacks. Um, yeah, and the, the fucking about poison you. damage did like 20 damage on mm -hmm. almost that every swing, so. Yeah. All right, so what are we doing? Uh, I'm just gonna. You got some javelin still, back right? <laughs> you got javelin still. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh... I know she got it. <laughs> Yep. Touch me again. Fly me. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, run, was gonna say turn. run up to the book, if you, unless uh, you just want to avoid uh, dragon shit. <laughs> yeah, there's not enough I can do, so. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, well, let's you just hope I don't. 
Just hope I don't roll a five or a six. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? That was all my movement. I can hold my action. I'll hold my action. If he comes near me, I'm going to smack him in the face. There you I go. dash, so. Okay. And I'll be my turn. Because that happens to me. That was like 40 movement, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Let me read something. Uh, yeah. Either you slap Zamrakar with another fly and then run the fuck away out of the cone again, <laughs> so we don't lose the fly, or uh, okay, hit him with the okay. big boy spell. So I am going. So I'm out of third level spell slots, but. I'm going to cast Fly at 4th level. Oh, and touch right. both Renford and Zamrakar. Zamrakar. I mm -hmm. forgot you could take two charges now with it. <laughs> and then back no, the fuck away. Two people can fly. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> now run away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'll run back to where it was. <laughs> well, farther back as much as you can. Yep. Good. Yeah, get, get out of here. I am. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah, we don't need you to catch that cone damage again and lose concentration Just again. Work. <laughs> Is that my max? I think that's my max. Uh, let's see. It was like 10 here yeah. to touch both of them. Yep, uh, there. So third. I can run to the corner. I'll actually be there. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, you're right. Or like... So you moved, so you moved your book and what are you doing? No, he's um, moving his at his own. <laughs> well, I, well, I have to move my book too because it needs to be within thirty feet of me. So, no, it doesn't. Oh wait, no, I'm. That's it's like three hundred feet or something. Yeah, like it's three hundred feet. I I can only yeah. move it thirty feet at a time. I am I, like single gear, Sterling engine. <laughs> um, but yeah, run up to the boys, cast full of both of them, run around the corner. And yeah, I'm gonna keep the board where it is, and that'll be it. All right. Let me see if I uh, get breath weapon back. Do not. Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> I think Samel's still kind of in range of it if he went back and <laughs> breathed yeah. on him. No, 100%. It's not even kind of. All right, but Truth, the uh, Emerald Assassin, has a hunger for elves. Yep. Oh. Is in the open. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna hurt. All right, so three attacks. Uh, I'm on oh. one of those attacks. I'm gonna use my reaction to cast some luck on that. Let's see. Let's see what the attacks are. Because uh, you, you, do right. you have to know beforehand, or uh... I think I do. All right. Well, uh, unlock on that gives disadvantage, so it went from a twenty-five to a fifteen. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> nice. Wow. All right. Claw attack for a twenty-two uh, for thirteen slashing. Maybe. Uh, give me a second. Um, can I see him, Kenny? I like can't yeah, tell. You can. You can. Up in the the, uh, it hits the an illusion. Shield spirit from my reaction. Well, it hits an illusion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so oh, that's, right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. All right. And then one more claw attack for 28. 28. 28. <clears throat> that one hits. For 11 slash. <laughs> Uh, half does the hill rune, so five damage in your spirit shield. You said I would wait yeah, right. because remember, this thing has uh, legendary reactions and can tail attack your ass. Yeah, five isn't that much. Okay, I'll take five. All right. would be its turn <clears throat> okay so now that we are properly flying I'm gonna move forward so now it's a 
The dragon's a four by four grid, right? Yes. Uh, it's okay, actually cool. considered a large, uh, huge creature, so I might actually have to increase the size. But... <laughs> cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm asking, so I want to know. I, I want to move close enough to be within five feet of it. Is really well. Oh, oh well. god. That, that, that might be more accurate. Oh, okay. god, that's... All right, but that, I'm still terrifying. attacking that. Yeah. I can still hit it from here, though. Mm -hmm. It's on the it's ground now, five, five. ironically. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it flew down and uh, went bite and claw at uh, Fletch, so. But yeah, okay. remember it can legendary reaction just fly up again because uh, the wing beat or wing attack. All right, yep. well, I'm still flying because it looks cool. <laughs> um, so, it, and you said, sorry, you said it was a 5x5 five five grid? Mm hmm. Okay, got it, got it. All right, so in that case, I'm going to attack with the scimitar. Do it. Smite the shit out of oh. all. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but attack oh. again. Uh, I should have flown to the other side so we could be flanking it. True. It's fine. We no, it's it's good here for the the, the layer action. Whatever happens, yeah, in you're the giving middle. your aura to yeah. yeah, both of us. Okay. Uh, totally. So in that case, I'm gonna attack a second time. Fuck it up. At least Zam or Kark could get the flanking yep. on that. Hit. Okay. Um, so here's the damage. And we're gonna go ahead and add a uh, fourth level, <laughs> or yeah, top level Divine Smite to that. <laughs> okay. Fuck this thing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. it up. Okay. That's a 5d8? Oh, <laughs> was that max? Uh -oh. That was max damage on two of the <laughs> <Yeah>. dice. <laughs> Fuck it up! <laughs> this thing is oh. destined to die. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! The dice commanded to to die. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, and I moved forward like ten feet. So I'm gonna Four strafe it damage. a little bit. <laughs> so that was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. We'll go right there. Right. No, no, no. I'm going to legendary action tail attack you. So... You. Fletch or me? You. I wanted your aura and you left me. Oh. <laughs> oh. So 29, 29 to hit you as you uh, strafe around. Okay. Uh, or 20, 14 20. bludgeoning. Okay, got it. Okay, now I'll use my spirit shield. All right, so reduce that by 3d6. There you go. <laughs> wow. So all right. no damage. No damage. Cool. All right. Absorb just, all of that. I give Zamakar like a flying uh, upside down thumbs up, which looks like a thumbs down, <laughs> but I mean it the other way. I just right. realized that a guy died. It truly was like that. <laughs> and... <laughs> it really was. <laughs> and <laughs> layer action. <laughs> Slayer action. All right, let's see here. Which one do I want to do? All of them. Just kidding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's an interesting one. It's, it's, uh, it's not. It's not. <laughs> just, all right. Not. I need uh, Fletch and Renford to make me a wisdom save. Oh man, I definitely should have said it goes to first. I would. I wish you were here. <laughs> that's a good last one. Because that's a good Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm not gonna do good. <sighs> that was a waste of a layer action. Oh, <laughs> no. So, magical fog uh, billows around. Uh, Oh, I misread that. One creature. So, it wouldn't have got you both anyway. I, I saw one creature within. I saw creature within 120 feet. I didn't read the one. So I thought uh, it was everyone within 120, 120 feet, feet of it. In the air. It literally had everyone in the in the layer <laughs> at that point. Yeah. Yeah. It's a DC. <laughs> it's a D. It's a DC 15 wisdom saving throw, or be charmed by the dragon until the next uh, layer action. Oh. Oh, oh, cool. <laughs> oh, God. I just imagine if it hit Fletch with that and fucking it turns on us. 
Who would be dead? Uh, yeah, <laughs> darn. Should have gone with one of the other other choices. I, I mean, know. if it succeeded, that would have sucked for us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That'd be the confusing feelings of Fletch must feel out to be Jordan Pitchrick. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it, it twerks in your face, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pop out of hiding. Let's see. Uh, 20 feet. I feel like the dice is trying to tell a story here. It really is. It really <laughs> is, my guy. Uh, pop out of the corner, shoot, um, advantage because stealth and uh, final tactics this again. Uh, 22 right. to hit and uh, yep, 45 damage. And it's starting to look bloodied. All right, and then 10 okay. feet back right. and stealth. <laughs> That's uh, that's my turn. I'll take one of you out. <laughs> I am going to uh, legendary action tail attack on Fletch. They're in vain. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, legendary reaction for for the dragon. Oh god! He gets, gotcha. gets three I mean, every round. He's on. Um, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. It's so, uh, so that's a thirty-one to hit. <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm. Quite shit out of It hit Total. to the bone. Okay. <laughs> Code, is, Code is decimated <laughs> by 17 bludgeoning damage. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking uh, clones, my guy, that... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, what? yeah, why is Nervane still there? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she needs space. Um, <laughs> yeah, she needs some space. She can do melee attacks, <clears throat> but the damage is from her range. So right. where does she go? Pull out the dragon sling arrow and stab him. With it. <laughs> Give me the 18 now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do it. <laughs> do it now. Uh, yeah, she will just move over there. All right, opportunity attack. Opportunity. attack. Yep. yep. Go in with a bite attack for 19. Uh, that hits, possibly. Yeah, that hits. All right, 17 piercing and 8 poison damage. Oh, cool. Uh, 17, 8, 25. <laughs> All of it's reduced because she's Hell. resistant to both poison and piercing. piercing? Uh, piercing. All right. I'm at 69 HP. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, Manfred or uh, without uh, advantage. That was just to make sure I maintain concentration on my swift quiver. Okay. So it's looking bloody. Mm-hmm. Elvin longbow attack. Genius wrath. If I get big, I won't get my two shots. Yeah, so Elvin longbow. Okay. 21 to hit. That hits. Come on, roll a six, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you know the best CC is? Death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh, that one misses. How uh, would Fletch take down the dragon? Ooh. Hey. Oh, was the first shot enough? Oh, the first shot did it? Thanks. First shot was exactly the amount of health it had. Yeah, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Poetic. Let's fucking go. Uh the dragon bites her and she just like fucking takes it and then she just like draws her bow and shoots it directly down the gullet in a like uh lightning 
rips in through its throat and out its twerking ass. <laughs> and then the arrow hits Switch McCall on the ground again. Fucking son of a bitch. <sighs> All right. Did it. She kind of like drops her knee and starts crying a little bit. Even though it's dead, Zamrakar is still going to run up to it and hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Zamrakar, man. Uh, we tried, buddy. We tried. No, it's all good. That is good. Oh, man. The main reason why I didn't say anything when uh, like Fletch was doing all that damage to Nerevin. Or Vane, whatever his name was, is because like I was outside, you guys were all inside. So yeah, that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. All right. <clears throat> that was a good fight. More names now. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna skin this motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm not talking about just the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to float on over to uh, where Nirovin fell down. I'm going to mm-hmm. take take his cloak. Right. I'm just taking his shit. Yeah. <laughs> Umbria, you wanted a short sword, right? Nice. So, it does, so it does not actually in his character sheet say like uh, what armor class the cloak gives because it just says uh, like his Draconic Majesty, he adds his Charisma bonus to his armor class, which make, made it a 17. But it doesn't say like what the actual cloak gave for an armor class. That's okay, I'm just taking it for uh, later purposes. Okay. <clears throat> that doesn't sound creepy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> later purposes. <laughs> My thinking is that like if I assume his identity, that might help us oh, get into gotcha. that uh, cradle, cradle later. Fair. Yeah. So you want to wear his skin is what I'm here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then of course he has a short sword. Yep. You say uh, you wanted a short sword? Yeah. First I give Fletch a big hug and you know, make sure she's fine. <laughs> and then yeah, yeah, let's well, let's go loot him together. Don't yeah. easy, honestly. We'll loot him together. What's such romantic words? I know. She was she was spit <laughs> on a she like walk up the dragon, but spit in its eye. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, like right room. We lost Brawly, so <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oof. All right. Yeah, we're just pretty much gonna uh, loot and then uh, call it a night. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I assume you take the short sword, which. Uh, Going off of the actual character sheet sword, sword it does uh, 1d6 plus 3, so you, you wouldn't have the plus 3 because that's his like uh, proficiency. Mm-hmm. So so it does 1d6 uh, piercing damage and 3d8 poison damage. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Matches well with the, the dagger poison I have, I guess. <laughs> Is anything in the uh, dragon horde? And let me get that roll. Let's see, I'm just gonna change my normal the short sword that I have. So it's a one d six standard damage, right, and then a three d eight poison damage. Yeah. Are you um <laughs> not gonna be using a crossbow anymore? Oh well, <laughs> unfortunately, no magic items on any of those rolls. But okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Again, Unfortunate. Again, Books in any of those rolls? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, I rolled three times on the uh, just uh, treasure uh, hoard challenge rating 11 through 16, because uh, the adult green dragon is a challenge rating 15. So I got, uh, I got 22,000 uh, gold pieces. Ah. Uh, Woo. Two thousand platinum pieces. Uh, give me one second. Ooh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so gold, twenty-two thousand. So thirty-nine. How many platinum? Two thousand. Jesus. Two thousand. 
Okay. And then uh, 250 gold worth of art objects. So, like, uh, furniture, paintings, stuff like that from Elven, uh, Elven looks. Oh my god, this is going in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> as well as, as, as well as a family portrait. Oh. Whose family? Is it? She's gonna look at it. Is it a family portrait of her? Because I know the dragon. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep. Oh my god. Oh man. Legit just break down and start crying. The number will literally hold you. And you recognize some of the art objects as uh, stuff that was uh, looted either from your, your town or some of the uh, surrounding villages. Yeah, she's... <laughs> Not crying out loud, but she's definitely like sobbing and like kind of doubled over crying. Thank you guys. Happy to help. I just walk over, just pat her on the shoulder. Say, like, promise is promise, eh? I said, I almost forgot I was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> She's still looking at the, the pictures and taking in each, you know, person that's in the picture. Oh, I'm sorry. Um... But you guys are lucky I decided to use the uh, loot tables instead of what the modular says because the modular was uh, very just law it says it contains 10 gold trade bars from Baldur's gate worth 50 gold pieces each <laughs> uh 10 platinum 120 gold 2400 silver and 800 copper pieces the poor ass dragon oh. wow <laughs> yeah dragon, yeah <laughs> but, uh, what was fudge gonna say um geez it's kind of like she thanked you uh, but she's really staring at the picture now just pat her on the shoulder again and said, take your time. Walk over to Renford and he goes, all right, uh, you want to carve first or interrogate first as I point towards old dude's uh, unconscious body on the ground? Oh, he's not unconscious. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's dead? Okay, yeah. never mind. You guys killed him. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, then, I mean, we're still then, taking then, his then. body over because, uh, remember, c yeah. didn't talk yeah. to his dead corpse. <laughs> Yeah, Dead information. It's pretty hard to uh, non-lethal an arrow. <laughs> yeah. Get the punching right. bag or so, punching uh, arrow. Just like last Airbender, where I like, pierce the clothing constantly. Yeah. I mean, these are like lightning and poison arrow. Well, yeah, poison did nothing, but it was like lightning arrows as well. Mm -hmm. So like man's head. Yeah, his arm is oh. over here. So I just uh, give a dagger to Remington. Uh, you want to help me carve this up? The, I want to go tell the people they're free, but I'll be right back to join you. All right. Now, yeah. let me tell the, my people. So, Renfrew, no. let me tell I, my people. I like hold them back. Oh, uh, sure. That's yeah. Feel free to tell them. That's okay. Let it have this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In fact, that's that's all I'll go with, just in case. Were you saying something, Kenny? No, go ahead. Um, pick up this bitch, <laughs> and we figure out what we can do with the dragon later. Um, yes, yes, leave the corpse of the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, before you leave, the numbers is like, oh, I'm going to help these guys carve this thing up, um, and then she'll give you a kiss on the, on the lips, and then... Go help these fucks. <laughs> yeah, they'll be um. Dar, no Dracolich. <laughs> <laughs> I I know they're that they're they're willing to um wait a little bit. They don't know, so we can carve that up first. Um, but I really need to return to my home. I uh. 
I haven't been to the grave since since I buried them and I left been about four three or four years now, so Well you've got some uh, good news to tell them then. He just like kind of nods her head a little bit. Um, there's nothing around the corner up there. <laughs> I'll check. Uh, are you talking about like this room up here? Uh, I know. Twenty-eight. <laughs> that like you're asking? There. Yeah, yeah, oh. this section. Where are you at? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. It's just more loot. <laughs> there is a secret tunnel oh. right here. But... Oh. Oh. Oh, is that deep? Yep. So if you know, the, it, the deep deep enough for a dragon to come yep. through. So it was another <laughs> yeah, escape route. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to. Uh, She's not going to mess up the painting by dragging it in the water. That she's just kind of holding on to. She's kind of hugging as much as painting as she can, and she's kind of like sitting down over here. Also, uh, I don't know how much the bag of holding uh, can carry, but uh, you can can per module take any of the the items in this room uh, for furniture. It is listed. What type of furniture is here? Just a sorted elven furniture. Basically, whatever you want it to be for the rank. <laughs> so so we have uh, gold. Yeah. <laughs> the furniture uh, in this room is worth one thousand five hundred gold. Um, oh, yeah. she, she's like one thousand five hundred <laughs> for safekeeping, I guess. So she like grows big. Grabs a painting and a bunch of like furniture and goes into a ring for a little bit, and then she'll pop back out without any of that stuff. Just deposited it. <laughs> Just so you don't leave the loop behind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then also, I'm assuming okay. survival check for carving this dragon. Okay. Also, what was in this area up here? Uh, nothing really of imp too importance. So I've got the dagger. I'll help carve the dragon as well. Uh, I was gonna say, who has the higher survival? Oh, well, my, I, mine's not great. So mine's just a plus two. Hang on. I'll give an assist. Uh, mine is a plus one. So I will. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let's because. Technically, Zamrakar will still be here, and he yeah. has a plus. Damn, we suck oh. at survival. <laughs> it's amazing we have a time loss, basically. <laughs> We're not wisdom-based characters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, your plus two is actually the best. Oh, wow. Everyone. All, right. <laughs> All right. I'll take the advantage on that, then, uh, from Renford's help. All right. 21. Nice. Yes. 21. <laughs> God damn it, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> and then right. uh, you'll hear in your head, Fletch, uh, if, you, if uh, you wouldn't mind, I would like to join you when you go visit their graves. Or someone. Once you're there. Come on, guys. Who's out there? Yeah. Maybe everyone needs to come. Bye. Sure. All right. Uh... So, well, what are you uh, trying to get in particular? The scales. First off, uh, scales? anything like important scales. scales, teeth. Uh, well, I'm assuming teeth and uh, claws for Zamrakar. Uh, scales right, for so... Cephas for armor shit, and uh, eyes, okay. hearts, and shit Can for. I... Um, so dogs, how I'm gonna uh, do it is it's oh, gonna really? be a separate yeah. roll for each type of item. Oh, gotcha, so gotcha. First, yeah. first one is okay. gonna be for the scales. Gotcha. So uh, roll me a D100. I'm going to go ahead and log off, and I'll see you guys next week. All right. You okay. take Have a good one. All right. See you, dude. All right. Bye. So we get 65 uh, green dragon scales. Nice. Right? 
Well, what are you going for next? You said we needed um the heart for Crate and Dragon uh armor dra well, uh, arrows and bolts of dragon slain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, um so yeah, the next one will be the heart, I guess, and I'm assuming uh um yeah, Renford is helping. helping. And then what 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 were we gonna do, Zane? Um I'm just trying <laughs> Look, Seville has a secret mission in the back of his head. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get shit for Dom. <laughs> okay, I figured um, as much. <laughs> oh, why? Seville's trying to smash. <laughs> I figured as much. I, I'm no, I already knew that part. Uh, before, <laughs> hold on. Before you do that, someone had enhanced ability. Yeah, or I was about to right? ask that, Zane. Do yeah, I do. Enhanced ability. Yes, I do. I forgot about that. Um. I I think it just owl. gives advantage anyways, so I don't oh, okay. remember. There's no bonus. Yeah, I think. Hang on, let me. Read I don't it. remember if it adds a bonus like to anything. I think it just gives advantage on wisdom saves or not wisdom. Uh, uh, check. Uh, it gave so it gives it gives advantage on um yeah th this wouldn't apply here. It would uh unless if oh. it like triples down yeah because i get to choose which, which um thing, yeah. stat but i think it's just for the base stat checks it's oh not for the specific ones i gotta tell Ev evan that he's not using he has the spell healing energy oh, yeah. for north 30 minute radius it, delay it, <laughs> and the aura moves with you centered on eating and it, it, wow yeah for, wow. for 10 rounds <laughs> as an action 10 rounds you can heal, heal someone as a bonus <laughs> action yeah. Use a bonus action to cause one creature in the <laughs> aura, including you, to regain 2d6 hit points. Yeah, I mean, it's the, pretty beneficial. I mean, that is pretty good, but I, I guess he should have activated it before the fight, or like, you know, the prep time. Well, whether you do it before the fight or even uh, during, like when we were doing a short rest, that's 20d6 mm. oh, yeah. that you can heal. Yeah, that's true, during a short rest and yeah. oh, or, or, just give it to everybody. I like my uh, druid's uh, healing spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little, 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 little bunny rabbit just uh, hopping around. And, my uh... Uh, my, my uh, druid and my campaign has a little turtle that high-fives people and heals yeah. them. <laughs> I love healing spirit. All right. Uh, survival advantage. For the heart. Luckily, it was advantage, so Ooh. twenty. <laughs> I could I could feel Savelle hovering over over the number. <laughs> like, please, 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 please. All right, you successfully got one intact dragon heart. That's nice. nice. Let's go. I'm assuming I. I does Savelle ask for number to to hold on to the heart? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, could you? Could you do me a favor? Just could you? Could you? Is there a way you can keep this like as fresh as possible? Yes, mm. we need it for dragon shrugs, slain arrows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Making um, me a perception check. For I was a gonna say, don't you have the the chest spell thing? Oh yeah, that's right. Like at that moment, granted, like, granted, I don't know how big a dragon heart is and if it can fit in whatever that size of a box it, is. Can it fit in a oh. three by two by two space? <laughs> what's, the, what's the size of a dragon heart, Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> well, just say it's, it's at least uh, as big as a human head, I would say. So, hmm. I say maybe even bigger. I'm, I, I was gonna I, say I gotta like the size of a, like, uh, maybe the size of a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I was going to say I need both of you, uh, you that are messing with the heart, to make me a perception. Oh, cool. Does my oh, passive perception pick anything up? Of twenty? Probably. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I, I literally can yeah. roll at a twenty or higher. That's kind of my perception. Right. The yeah, hardest one beating. Oh. <laughs> cool. What? I, I didn't catch that. What? It's the hardest one beating. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, huh. Well, I 
<laughs> Penumbra's just like kind uh, kind of confused as dust as you are, and just like I think Dove is gonna really like this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I can put it in the bag of holding for now, and then probably we could gift wrap it later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, sounds good. All right, she'll put in the bag of holding, and he just the bag of holding. Is doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah, I'm still like a little freaked out, but it's, it's still. That's a, huh? Well, that's different. Um, <laughs> one beating dragon heart <laughs> added to the <laughs> cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh next survival checks with uh for the teeth and uh claws and stuff like that for Zamarkar. All right. 17. All right. Uh roll me a d10. You doing really good. Nice. Doing really good on these nice. survival rolls right. for only a plus 2. I know, right? <laughs> you got nine dragon claws. Probably all from the same hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I kind of fucked up the other ones. Um, something right. like an Robert operating table you. right now, and uh, <laughs> Renford is uh, my assistant. Now, now for the teeth. Renford's the nurse. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I, I I knew the moment you said you're you're no. rolling really well on this. So it's, it's downhill from there. It's cool because technically yeah, it tried to bite just, down on her and she yeah, did shoot it, it directly in the mouth. Yeah. So a couple of its teeth. Several are, times are actually. Fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the teeth are already shattered, and the ones you do get a hold on, you just yank and yank and yank, and there's no give. All right. I start cutting the head off and shoving it down. <laughs> you, get, you get like an unimpressive tooth, like a molar or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was like, unfortunately, these teeth are jacked. All right. Uh, also, to help Sabelle, I don't know if we can do get anything from the eyes or <laughs> just try to see if I can pop can an eye we, out. Since it is a dream, green dragon, can we get venom? Mm -hmm. Penumbra would definitely it's, be interested yes. in that. It will be mm -hmm. like it's gas sacks or venom sacks or whatever well yeah. its teeth its teeth also had a uh, poison on it well we mm. fucked up the teeth yeah but i mean there still could be some poison glands somewhere mm -hmm. you know at least for me to harvest it but either yeah. way uh this is for the eyes hey there we go <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> romeo d2 see how successful you are in, uh Getting the eyes. Uh, give me one second. See if you get one or two eyes. Uh, do I have to? I'm just gonna roll a d4, and uh, yeah, one and two is uh, or even odds. Yeah. Oh. All right. So I'm a, uh, odds one, evens two is basically what my thought process on that was. So I get one eye. Yeah. The other one, you kind of get your dagger a little too close to the actual eye and cut through it. So it's damaged. Oh, I, was, I was gonna say it's kind of hard to get because maybe it fell on one side, and we couldn't mm -hmm. like really like turn it to get a good angle to get the other eye out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Squish on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> or Renford drops with. <laughs> Dragon eye. Uh, let's see, this is for the poison. Uh, 20. Right. Ironically, I would also just, in general, have advantage on it because of my, uh, subclass. Roll me another d4. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, you get one of four poison sacks. <laughs> That's four poison sacks. We just like stabbing around in his mouth. We accidentally like puncture three of them. <laughs> I, I guess considering, yeah, they were in his mouth. Uh, yeah, Fletch's arrow might have killed the other yeah. three, and we were only able to find one. Um, and was there anything else? Mm, nope. I think that's pretty much all you all can, can get. get. From it. Yeah. 
say, unless you want to like try to strip the wings for leather. <laughs> <laughs> we can give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, you can be make some studded leather out of it as well. Seventeen. All right. Uh, for this, I'm going to say, uh, make me a sleight of hand. Oh, we'll baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 26, if it's just a straight roll. So you kind of, like, find, like, the anatomy of the bone network between the, uh, the, uh, like, sinew of the uh, wing and, like, where the dragon bone is, and you kind of, like, start carving out the leather <laughs> around the bone. <laughs> Just Penumbra just shoves all the shit in the bag of holding, and like if she's so, full of blood from all the carving and all the shit that she's that she so did. I'm gonna, say, I'm going to say you have fifty foot of uh, dragon leather. Okay, green dragon leather. So as we're so as we're like carving this, I'm gonna uh, turn to everyone at some point and say, "Do we ever come up with a name for ourselves?" It's we've been arguing about it. <laughs> what about as I'm like covered in dragons, dragon butchers, the dragon butchers? That's yeah. We're not, I'm not really thinking about it right now, but Frost won't like that. <laughs> Ooh, right. I had a out out of game uh, name that was pretty good that I got from uh, listening to someone else run this module, but I completely forgot it, so I'll have to remember to find it again. <laughs> <laughs> I still like tearing these in. That's my favorite so far. But that one's a pretty good one. But, yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know if Frost cares or not. Or I think he, because I think we did come up with he a does. similar name, and then, yeah, he's like, I don't like that one. <laughs> yeah. Like I won't be running in a group that says L's ruin. Yeah. <laughs> um I'm gonna go tell the people now. Alright. Uh well We'll meet you uh, at the exit, I guess. Come with, just in case something is there. All right. She's all full of blood and <laughs> 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 holds your hand. Is there anything you would like to check out on your way back? <laughs> this room? <laughs> this one up here? Possibly, considering that's uh, the only room we didn't check. I probably want to check the tunnel, take a swim through right. it as well. Do you want to check that room up there then? Yes, yeah, please. Do that first. Which is kind of uh, fitting, uh, considering Fletch's mood. You find eight bottles of Evermead, worth uh, 100 <laughs> gold pieces each. Since uh, contact with the elven island of Evermet is so rare, it is easy to find a buyer for this mead. It is elven mead. <laughs> We're not selling it. <laughs> was it eight bottles yep yeah so 800 gold all right hmm Put do you think it's place. dangerous to uh Go through that tunnel just to make sure. Just swim through the escape tunnel. Uh, probably not necessarily dangerous, uh, especially for a good swimmer. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I also did not give you guys uh, the uh, benefit of the god like I was supposed to. <laughs> oh, when did that was when did was that going to come in? Because you're like it hasn't triggered yet. Because Fletch doesn't uh, believe in gods now. <laughs> I was going to wait until you guys were actually me. in the room, like, fully fighting the dragon, and then you guys, like, kept not going into the room. Oh, fair. 
<laughs> Guy will help me more than most deities. I literally think she spat on me when I prayed. <laughs> yeah. So I was literally just gonna like give you like bless or something. Mm, yeah. Ooh. That's what I was thinking of. I like, definitely uh, would have been doing with some sharpshooter. Yeah. <laughs> For the ones who prayed, uh, they get a a bless. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, me and Fletch go to the to the elves. <laughs> All bloody. <laughs> we um... killed the dragon. <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> she doesn't say that, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> they they so... see all like the dragon blood on you. Well, either you killed the dragon or the dragon killed you. <laughs> <laughs> the emerald bitch is dead. Slain. No Dude, more. Don't the emerald bitch. <laughs> it's no more a terror to the misty woods. Do you have any proof? <laughs> Pulls up the heart, the eyes, <laughs> the teeth. I, uh, uh, to be not super excessive, yeah, I would just pull out like the claws. Yeah, they're all like gag. Uh, 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 yeah, it's a claw and the They're all awestruck. <laughs> you you want to go check the bodies? <laughs> No, no, we we believe you. I was told that. No, I'll keep that information to myself. She she won't tell. She was thinking about telling him about uh, uh, what is it, Melon, Melondrock? Uh, near near on vein. Uh, no, she was thinking about yeah, well, near vein still, but she was thinking about telling about Melondrock's son, but she holds that information and. Hmm. Thanks to Umbra. Make sure no one tells that could, uh, who knows what type of political stuff he wants to run. Too mad. Probably look pretty bad on him. Yeah, so, uh, I was, uh, watching something or, like, uh, trying to find more information for this module. One of the things that I, uh, was, uh, was that showed is, uh, for action extra effect if you wanted to you could bring uh king melandrock's uh son uh uh crap it starts with an a you can bring him as an npc and then have like the shock of him seeing his own half brother oh. being the enemy oh we're we're bringing him <laughs> it's just we're just bringing just his head <laughs> yes <laughs> that's uh what we've been doing the whole time so and uh just, you said just... Popping down his heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve has to talk to him anyway, so. Yeah, it's just his body. Maybe he took off, like, his, his clothes and stuff. Yep. Um, Red for dozen. By the way, uh, I gotta go. All so, right. <laughs> I okay. will catch you all next week. Have a good one, sir. Take it easy. Uh, looking yeah. at the mage... Uh, I I know that was a gift for you. I, I kind of want to bury my family's things. Or is that too much to ask? And she's talking about the the Therani robes on them. Forgive me if it's rude. Uh, I'm not in the best state of mind, but... Persuasion. I'm going to use my gift of luck on this as well. <laughs> Mine as well. Ooh. Damn. Ah. Oh. I accidentally clicked Elvin. Anyway, so it would have been a seven, honestly. Oh, I thought the sleight of hand was. Sorry, for some reason I was reading the 28. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that's a fair, fair, fairly low roll for the persuasion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that rude to to ask? No, no, it's uh, 
It's within your right to ask, but you see, this this means quite a bit to me. It's the uh, last thing I had of your father. Understand. Perhaps if uh, I went with you, perhaps we could bury it together. No, it. Hold on to it. You, you're right. Remember. Remember him. We need more people in the world to remember as many of us as uh, as we could. She uh, nods and thanks you. Mm. Thank you for visiting him in my absence. I've uh, been really occupied. It's not an excuse. I'm just trying to do what I thought was right. I tried to uh, honor him, keep the... uh flowers alive. You might notice a uh, new tree in the glen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, if we want to at least travel back to the village all together, it'll be uh, it probably be best for us. For everyone here. I know uh, a few of these uh, fine fellows would feel more comfortable if they've uh, got their equipment. I believe uh, you can find it. Uh, I think I saw some guards taking it uh, to, down to uh, this hallway here. What makes sense? Um, you know, there's a trap down there, and of course, it'll put some things behind the trap. So let us take care of that first. Um, so I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna activate the trap but or anything, but uh the uh ends that you guys uh fought earlier, they were in charge of uh watching all of the uh stuff but instead claimed all the stuff as their own and if you guys were to encounter them there uh they are constantly like fighting and bickering over this stuff and there's actually a chance that they attack each other over it. Hmm. <laughs> Rudo's in. <innocent. laughs> but yeah, that is where all the uh, prisoner supplies are kept. Yeah, we basically just make sure it's uh, safe to go through and um, we can have them grab their stuff. Mm -hmm. So for the sake of brevity, they gather their stuff and you guys proceed out of the dungeon and that's where we'll end it. All right. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit, what man. You? Yeah, but... <laughs> she rolled so many natural 20s in that this was, uh, That was so dungeon. crazy. Yeah. Uh, by the way, once you guys uh, get to uh, the city and manage to take a long rest, you guys can level up again. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is going to be a great level. Yeah, this is going to be my first level into fighter. Yeah. You're like, holy shit. <laughs> I need to get in on that action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I rolled a natural 20 here to stab the noble commoner guard in the neck. Uh, what was the... So many against them. Did the short sword have a name, or...? Whatever you want to name it. I'm going to be dumb and... Just another Arknight's reference. Just call it Blue Poison. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it literally is just short sword, and then had the added benefits so. of the enchanted. Um, 
So I think I had some like poison daggers before and named it like necrosis mm -hmm. and uh what was the other dagger? I think it started with an A. Something with like poison. Uh, let's see. Let's just use normal sneak attack. And this thing. So I have the choice between a nether attack from the cult or move straight to the uh, Council of Dragons for mm -hmm. next. Did you record this session? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish I could post them more, but uh, it takes a while for it to uh, upload onto YouTube. Yeah. Because like nice. the... it, it, it takes a good day. Basically, mm -hmm. for me, it's like two days or a day and a half because of the shitty internet, and then the fact that the uh, file is like five gigs sometimes. I mean, yeah. e e even after it's updated, uh, uploaded, then YouTube has to go through their process. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. processing. True. Um, I need to get uh, I my. I was gonna say I need just to get my uh. Not Photoshop. What the hell's the, the my Adobe shit back? Because mm -hmm. I've just been using uh, something else to at least edit. Because at least with the media encoder, I could at least reduce the um, how big the file is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, I, it's I, I found out I can just I found out I can just use uh, Windows uh, Video Photo Editor to uh, like for cropping or uh, putting into segments. I can just mm. crop it straight from Windows. Gotcha. But that's like basic editing. That's just like uh, cutting cutting sizes down is basically all it does. Okay, there they are. Yeah, when Fletch gets mad, uh, because I was reading into the genie um, warlock stuff a little mm -hmm. bit more, and they start bestowing like properties of like genies and stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because you said you're gonna go more into warlock. Yeah, uh, she's actually probably gonna end up asking to devote herself to become a genie. It's kind of what I'm hmm. thinking eventually. Yeah, so like when she was getting pissed off and you're like she's losing it, it that's kind of how like her hair and stuff was yeah. starting to it was just turning, hair. Yeah, turning more into a like genie. Yeah. So we wait uh to to level next week? Probably. Okay. I was gonna say I'm just gonna roll because it doesn't take much for her <laughs> for the number to level. It's just the HP <laughs> roll in. Um because it's a D ten, I believe. Yeah, I got a he has a D ten for HP. fighter. Mm hmm And then you gain proficiency in basic martial weapons and simple weapons. And if you didn't start off in fighter, uh, you get proficiency with shields and medium armor and below. Yeah. And I think... Uh, you should, oh, yeah. You're most likely going to choose your archery fighting style. Get a plus two on range mm -hmm. attacks. No, yeah, that's the one I'm looking forward to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you also get a second wind. Second wind, yep. So 1d10 plus one. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, proficiencies, yep. Fighting style, second wind. Well, I have to get to bed. Yeah, okay. it was yeah, a good, good game today. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You guys are halfway through the module. <laughs> Damn it. I was one off from hitting the 100 HP club. <laughs> I automatically joined it. Because <laughs> that was that was last time for me. I did that same thing. The 99. Yeah, yeah. You can't roll a zero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah. Take it easy.